to Yeti. Hello, there we go. Okay. So that's better. Um, Lindsay, can you say a few things? Hmm. I don't think the desktop line is coming in. Uh, let's move that to Yeti. Okay, speak now. Yo. This is a test. This is only a test. Should okay. this actually be an emergency, you would hear three tones. Can you hear her now? Because yep. I see the desktop audio. Apparently I'm going. audible. According to Coop, I just need to be louder. Okay. Uh, bumped you up some? Okay. Yeah, you're hitting yellows on my OBS. Yeah. I'm just typically quiet AF, so... Hopefully that does it, because your sound level is hitting the same sound level my sound level is. Yay. Okay, I'll bump you a little bit more, just in case. I'm typically a fairly quiet person anyway, so... Oh, She's now a I'm a smidge too, too loud. loud. Oh, lord. <sighs> okay. Let's just go with that. Uh, I have to play this through the OBS, so, like... <laughs> um... I can always watch your audio peaks at all time. Anyway, oh, hey. let's fucking do this. So this is Resident Evil Maiden. Great, um, so I'm going to be scared shitless. Yeah. There's not a okay. lot to see in the options, just so you know. You're not going to be that scared, because most of it is just wandering around the dank castle and looking at gross things. But I am a chicken shit. True. Uh, I'll pre-warn you when things that might be jumpy are going to happen, so... That'll help. Yeah. Yes, it would. Let's see, I want to make sure I am watching my audio input. Okay. So this, uh, be my room. With a place to poop and nothing else. Well, I mean, at least they gave you a place to poop. Yeah. And it looks like it's got a lid type thing. So first things first, this is how we exit. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah, you're given no, like, weapons or anything. The only thing you can do is crawl and run. Uh, you do have an item screen, though. You can kind of see that shot. Okay, so we can pick up stuff. Might I recommend, like, a fork if one happens to present itself? Because forks are usually helpful. Because, like, you can shiv somebody in the eye with it if you need to. You cannot pick up e forks. <gasps> Sacrilege. No, I have played this through this before, so I know where the things are. So, no random bumping into random bullshit? But uh, random bullshit can be fun! I mean, can be. And, I mean, very obviously they gave us a flashlight. Yeah, that's, uh, that's on at all times. Uh, often you have to just bump your head into shit in order to find things. Uh, oh, look. Dead person. I thought the wire cutters were on her. Do I need to, like, touch you in a different way? Maybe, <laughs> Maybe I still have to wander down the hallway all the way. Um, mm. I didn't know it was that kind of dungeon. Oh, hey. All right. Uh, oh, look, a bucket. Later. What's on top of that barrel? That's beside our yawn hangy dude with the the stuff and the chains and the bucket. It, it's just a little little bucket. Oh no no! Like in the cell. Oh, in with the cell. The, with the, it looked like there was something on top of that barrel. Nah, oh no! Just it's textures. just wear and tear. E. Ah, oh, getting my hopes up. 
bastards. They've got good textures in this game. They do. I'm actually quite impressed. This would run like shit. Yeah, I don't want to. If I ever managed to get it on PC. I don't want to think about know. how this would run on my uh, shady little laptop. So, thankfully, I've got this guy going for me. Oh, it's over here on another body. I'm how many sorry. bodies are there? Jesus. Fuck. Hey, so, excuse me, dead lady. Do, 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 do you have a twin? Because, I mean, like, there's this chick in another cell that looks exactly like you. Hi. You dropped from the sky. Ah. Lovely. We got we got bodies on bodies in here. Human burritos. Oh, uh by the way, the grossest thing is just about to come up. So, uh you know. Oh, Coop, this is running on the PlayStation Happy. 5, but I run my stream through a laptop. So, uh, Corpse. okay, it's not this body that I need to worry about. Poke it with a stick. This is Ooh. just where I get the lockpick from his Yum. blood. Hey, Nomi. Yeah, this is uh this is a decent little capture card now that I've, you know, gotten used to it. I'm looking for the one room. I've got everything that I need, but there's a gross boy in here somewhere and I'm trying to remember where. Okay, with a stick. That's plan. Or is this going to be a I shriek and scream kill it with fire? Repeatedly? No, it's going to be a poke with a stick cuz don't do anything. It's just a really fucked up looking body. Yeah, it doesn't mean we can't kill it with fire. We're not allowed to use items, madam. Well, that sucks. Ah, here yes, he is. Coop. Kick it in the dick. Twice. Minimum. Yep. No, me. I love is... your face. That that is the solution to. Oh look, dead boy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, he looks so pretty. I want to poke it. Ooh, that the beautiful gut texture. That's uh, certainly glorious. Anything. Somebody oh, that put kids, some real time into this. That that is why you you don't smoke or do drugs, because mm -hmm. like your insides end up looking like that. Don't don't be like uh, marrow. Yeah, don't don't be like me. <laughs> that, that, that'd be a bad idea. I don't know why doing this is so fun, but it is. Yeah. I love watching how that texture goes wobble wobble. <laughs> I mean, you're letting him play on the swings one last time. Yeah. You know, he gets to grow back up again. Oh, this is this is where I came from. So we can proceed on out of the dungeon area. I'm gone. Spooky dungeon. Use my lockpick. I mean, you know what? Some plaster, a little bit of paint, a solid scrubbing. This place can be cool. Yeah, like, this isn't the dampest, dankest thing I've seen in a Resident Evil game uh, ever, so. This room's kind of neat. Yet again, Ooh. a lot of art time must have gone into this fucking room. Holy shit nuts. Yeah. And and the light physics with the swing and the stuff and the... Gee. Whoa. I have Bravo. to imagine the room we just came from will play a bigger role in the real game. Because, like, that's a setup. I know a setup when I see one, and that's a fucking setup. Well, I mean, it's technically showing armies converging on that wonderful, wonderful dungeon we just came out of. Yeah. Which means I could see that dungeon being the scene of a big bad at some point. Yeah, and we see, like, whatever, there's, 
like arrows coming in as well as going out it looks like ooh cause ye dudes in the back also have some arrows going into them ye dudes met with resistance ye it's kind of nice to be wait, able to wait is that guy holding a baby what guy uh the one the, the kneeling one down towards the back kneeling towards the back Oh, or towards the front. Like, are they holding babies? No, uh, I think they're just shackled. I think. Oh, no, they're holding the arrow oh. that's gone into their guts. Yeah, that's Whoops. right. Yeah. Yeah, there's a dude behind them what also has arrow into him. Yeah, it looks like it just repeats. E. Yeah, it's definitely a repeat of some of the models, but still, like, they're damn good models. Mm-hmm. And also, I mean, this is how statues used to be done. You build one really good model, and then you remodel your model. The better question is, is are they actually statues, or were they people that were actually quite short, turned into stone, and glued to a wall? I mean, we've got a giant lady, so... Right. Um, also, this is a vineyard, so uh, here's your cask. I think that wine is corked. <laughs> I mean, you can age a fine wine, but only to an extent. Oh, look. Wine trail. Yes, because it's wine. Mm -hmm. It's most definitely wine. All right. This is our sitting room. Dude. Is it wrong of me to say I want it? Knowing how fucked up this place actually is? Uh, no. Especially considering, uh, the rooms we'll get into after this. But, uh, that's some fancy-ass fucking chair right there. Is it also sad that when you played that record and I saw Dance Macabre come up, all I can think of was, they put Ghost into this game? <laughs> All right, so I believe one of these cupboards. There you are. That's your bad boy. We're crawling. Yeah, because my claustrophobia can take this shit. <laughs> yeah, this is totally fine. There's not going to be a jump scare by a vampire in here or anything. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, it's a burial room. Oh god, Coop, no, I just got the massive heaps for that. Also, this wall looks like it was recently plastered, so that's <laughs> interesting. I'm getting uh, Cask of Amontillado vibes. Oh, very much so. It took me oh, way god, too long to god, find this one song. brick. Dude, it's the one brick that's out of place. I know, but you look, if you're right here... You don't get a button. You have to literally crawl into it in order to actually get it to function. So I just thought it weren't a functioning thingy majig. But puzzle laws dictate when the one thing is out of place, you gotta poke it. I, I thought I had tried. I thought, oh, that must not be it. In 1958, it was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the masters of the house were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. June 23rd. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle, and I'm a little... afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake, and Miss Daniela slashed her face with the knife. With a knife. And at night, I can hear her wailing as if ghosts roam the hall. I want to go home. July 8th. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just to crack. Shut it now! Shut it now! They all shrieked at me in unison. 
Afira may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh. Oh. E. There's no bugs anywhere in uh, the castle, which makes me think even though, like, the basement is real gross, like, they at least have kept some check on it. Or, like, you know, there are bugs, but they're ghosts. Ghost bugs. Yeah, that makes sense. It's Resident Evil, so it's Resident Evil logic. Right? And broken hallway into the castle proper. Somehow everything is nice, but also gross at the same time. I don't understand how they did this. It's... it's just showing the sheer age of all of this because like this style of design is like fuck much old henry the fifth ish era yeah. so like we're pretty far fucking back by way of decor i love the way the uh all of the metal in the room just reflects so nicely. It is cool. Yeah, those textures and that dynamic lighting is just so glorious. I'm just beyond blown away. Normal sized outfits. Made clothes. Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry. Um, into the castle proper and lots of shiny shiny. Shiny shiny. Like, the absolute opulence of this place combined with how aged it is, is absolutely incredible yeah. like they actually did some serious serious work with this the oh that chamber. suit of armor dude I want one it's a nice view from up here kind of a dull suit of armor WTB house I don't believe there's anything in any of the drawers up here, but, you know, may as well poke them with a the stick. Nice bust you got there. But he looks so serious. So serious. Hmm, a creepy face missing an eye. It's a Resident Evil puzzle. I.e. find the eye? Yeah. <laughs> How do you stuff your bust, Nomi? Magic. Ah. There is a hallway you can't quite go down, but uh, you can kind of make out. It looks like there is stuff back there. That looks like a place of worship. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Get a little bit of what's going on here. You can't quite or look like, through the other side because there's a light pulling your way, but yeah, it looks like like a place of worship or like a ritual room or something. Mm -hmm. You know, so this is just gonna drive me nuts because I want to explore more and can't. Nope, <laughs> it's a very small demo. Oh, sad kitten. All right, so yeah, this is the other side of the room, and I guess we just got to go into it. Let's get our running shoes on. See, I think this is what bothered me about the early Resident Evil games was like you could shuffle and that was about it. Mu 
mahogany. Yup. Because let's make it expensive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can hear the madam and her children laughing. And oh, this lovely. is, of course, the uh, the scene scape that they have put on basically everything, cause it's a pretty. Yeah, this is um, kind of all sorts of gorgeous. That gold chandelier uh, by a mahogany staircase, it is uh, somehow both frightening and I want it at the same time. Yeah, it's very... it's intimidating, almost. E. And, like, that floor, man. Like, you just know it's, like, travertine marble or something imported from, like, Venice. Oh, yeah. And, like, the inlay work and... oh, dude. I could do so much to design this. And decorate it, and oh, I want it so bad. I'm really amused by the random couch. Just like right here across from the fireplace. Like these two couches, I get. Oh, well, you see, back in the day, e? the men would gather and they would socialize. And they would sit and drink brandy and smoke cigars. But the women had to keep a respectable distance back. Oh. If not in another room altogether. So that was more like a little sitting place for the ladies. Hence the teapot. Also, this is a cool little thing. If I can get it to wobble in the way I want it to. Somebody's been drinking blood. Delicious. It looks like a face in the bottom. Kind of? I can see that. Let's see if we wobble it that way and pull it closer. Kind of? Sort of? Yeah, who doesn't like a nice uh, aperitif of blood? Om nom nom. Hmm. Man, that's going to be so hard to get out of that carpet. Now, that one YouTube channel, they, they've got <laughs> it. Yes. And, I mean, like, the the brass inlays on those doors. Oh, oh my yeah. god. The, this, uh, this mansion is worth more than I am. Ooh, somebody left the window open. Rude. More doors you cannot open. But I want to open them all. <laughs> You'll have to buy the real game. And a PS5. <laughs> oh, you can do it on a PS4. I've got one of those. Yeah, so you could play this game. Um, Well, you can't play this game, because I know you. Yeah, because I'm afraid of my own shadow. Mm-hmm. Like, my upstairs neighbors have started becoming incredibly loud late in the evenings. Oh my god, that goblet. I need it in my life. Oh, look, a ring. Um, and, uh... So, I've taken to sleeping with, like, a baton beside my bed. <laughs> because half the time it sounds like they're either coming through the ceiling or the people in the hallway are really loud. And it sounds like they're coming into my apartment. And so, yeah, I, I'm i not losing my shit at all. Hey, that's an eye. Yeah. Where have we seen a place for a maroon eye? And yeah, Coop, it's really tempting. Um, I've noticed that they're usually, like, the ones above me are, like, usually the most loud during the day. Which is really frustrating because I'm working from home right now. And I kind of need it to be quiet. <laughs> I'm just gonna let her go. I don't, uh... Oh, that cape! Dude! The physics on that! Oh! We don't need any Oh props. my god! Dude... 
yeah, this more than anything is just them like flexing on, uh, hey, we know how to make things pretty. Right, Nomi? Like, that door is just... Oh. Welcome to the wine tasting room. Where we've got skulls? I mean, it's just art. Oh, and a key to go outside. We can finally Ooh. escape. Ooh. As I'm sitting here bouncing up and down in my chair because I'm excited. The winemaking technique of Castle Dimistrecu can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alcina Dimis Dimitrescu uses the legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor and intensity and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sanguia Virgine, meaning maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. Dude. I need a fan of this game mm. to build that bottle. Because that is a display piece I would happily have. They've got a few bottles sitting around of various Yeah, things. but it's not the Sanguinus uh, Virginis. Me. Hey. Because I see no flowers. 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 Living thing. Weird when, like, vampires are all obsessed with skulls and stuff. We don't have paintings with chicken bones and elaborate carvings and sculptures of Snickers I would absolutely love a sculpture of a Snickers wrapper. Nomi, if you can get that for me, um, I would absolutely display that as an objet d'art. So, yeah. I'm planning on learning eventually when I get some spare cash on how to work with resin. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying to think of things to encase in resin. So I might do like a really cool like little globe type thing with like random bits of like Snickers wrappers and what have you inside of them. I want to do resin too at some point. Um, side note, um, warning, jump scare. Thank you. Yeah. I'm watching you. Because I, I don't want to blow anybody's eardrums with my shrieks of fear. I won't last until dinner. Because, I mean, some of our viewers might watch <laughs> with headphones. <laughs> and hi. <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah, we basically are going to get bit once regardless of what we do. Run! Hey! the door and big ass bitch! So we finally run a motherfucking. Oh, wait, hi. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> I mean, there's worse things to see as your last image is big ass titties in your face. Boobs. Boobs. Send Bobs. <laughs> I mean, it is my birthday. If anybody wants to, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Uh, no. Um. Oh, the the bit. Yeah. Um. You basically get bit regardless. Two bites and you die, but you're given one. Think of it like the whole Monty Python and the Holy Grail thing, where she turned me into a newt. Mm. A newt. Well, I got better. So that is Maiden. Yeah, um, it's hard to be, uh, afraid when you're also horny at the same time, so. Well, see, Coop, it depends on the vampire lore that they're running through. Because if they're running through the lore where, you know, it's going to take you at least seven days to turn and you don't actually become a vampire until you've, uh, drank your first blood. Um, in which case, no, you're still gonna die. <laughs> okay, so no me, uh, midnight will be my birthday. Um, which is why this is special late stream. Yeah. Um, so we could either jump into Hades or we can fuck around in Astro's playroom. Uh, which do we prefer? I'm 
to be honest, um, I'm I'm a little curious about Astro's playroom because it looks really fucking cute. It is adorable as shit, and it's uh, if you're a longtime PlayStation fan, um, there is a lot here for you. I've been a PlayStation fan since the PS2. Yeah, I had the original PlayStation. Because um, I've got Minecraft date. Ooh, have fun, Nomi. Have fun, Nomi. Enjoy your time with your crafty mines. Craft all the mines. All right. So this game is a fucking bot. If I start a new game, does it delete my old game? Uh, oh. We don't want to delete your old game. So here, here's the thing. I don't know if I'll be able to get as far as the ending in one stream. It's like three hours worth of game. So I could just play this till it ends, but I can't even promise then that we'll actually get into the ending. We could start with the ending and then work backwards. I don't mind um, deleting my save if we go to the ending first. So... I mean, it's, it's your birthday. Yeah, so let's go do the ending, because it's uh, cute as shit. Alright, so I have to remember how we control this. Oh my god. Isn't it just the cutest? Holy fuck. Because, you know, like, as much as I wouldn't mind a Fall Guys body pillow, uh -huh. I'd much rather these dudes as plushies. Oh. <laughs> they, they, they've got a, a chip fish. Yep. And he gets angry. Okay, so this is the boss of the game. Two. Oh my god. We're going back to when I was 10 years old. Shit. Yeah, I was... I was 10. Christ. I feel old. <laughs> Oh my god, I remember the days of having a memory card for your consoles. So, we're gonna go play Demo Disc 1. Uh, yeah, Coop, I think you might be literally 16 days older than, than Trav. Um, no, I was born February 11th, 1983. So... Oh. When I said oh. 11. Okay, so I was 10. Yeah, you were 10. I'm, I was 11. I'm 1984. But 80s babies for the win. Wow! I didn't realize you could fall between the memory cards. You know, the memory cards you could never fucking find. Oh, I know. I picked up a memory card for my PS2, and it never left my PS2. <laughs> Mainly because I only had, like, two games for the PS2. Oddly enough, one of them was a horror game. I don't know where my PlayStation 2 ended up. I had one, and now it's gone. Oh yeah, he's a one-hit kill boy. It's been a little um, while since I played the game. <laughs> um, yeah, like, I got into horror games fairly early on. I just... I don't know, back then I guess I enjoyed being scared. I was not into horror games 
the first horror game I ever played was Resident Evil 4. Oh, see, I went straight for the most fucked up horror games you could get. Oh, Silent Hill? Uh, no, because we're talking PS2 era, so it was actually Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly. Hey, I don't think I ever played that game. I went as hardcore Japanese on horror as I could. And it is still, to this day, one of the most fucked up games I've ever played. And I would kill to get my hands on a copy of it now. I think I just need to stop trying to use the turbo jump to jump between things, because it was clearly meant for him to just do a regular old jumpy jump. I love how finally we have a game where, like, your jetpack actually damages things. Yeah. And yeah, Co Fatal Frame is weird. Are you fucking with me? But it's glorious. I am, uh, doing a bad job. Well, okay, so you figure this was back, way back, right? in, like, PS1 era. So, like... This shit was Nintendo hard. Usually in most of the real stages, you're given a lot more, um... Like... Anyway. Oh. This, this is, is a game for nostalgia, man. Why would they give us leeway? We've had it easy these past 10 years. I do not er, mind leeway. You know, so. 20 years. Fuck. Uh, 30. Yeah, Almost 30 years. 30. Christ. I keep thinking the 90s were like 10 years ago. I do not. I The 90s were five forevers ago in my own brain. Like when people say 2015, I'm like. Uh, that was long ago. Okay, Coop, yeah, there are definitely exceptions to the rule of things have gotten easier. Do you not remember, like, because you're an 80s kid too, do you not remember, like, renting a video game from from the, the, the video store, so like Blockbuster or whatever, and then, like, spending the entire car ride home reading the instruction manual that was actually on paper? So this is the original tech demo, now run on PlayStation 5. Which is amazing. Look at that jagged boy. Oh, the twitching. I grew up in a household where Nintendo was acceptable console. So I started with an SNES and then had every Nintendo console from the SNES onward, uh, with the exception of the Switch. And I still have my I got my Switch and my 3DS and my Wii and my Game Boy SP. I still got my Game Boy. That I could. And it has the original, like, green and black screen. It wasn't even a color. I never really got hardcore in the Pokemon, which is a funny thing to say because I actually ran like a Pokemon based website when I was like a teenager. But I had a sister that was set up so uh, Mom and Dad listened really carefully to what she said was correct. 
I've only ever seen the first one. Hey, we seen him. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think I'd actually beat him, but yet here we are. Here we are, beating up on the credits. Yeah, it's totally a Super Smash Brothers thing to do, but like, I don't want it. It's kind of neat. Like, we can also just go back and see the levels without restarting everything. And I missed one. I have brought okay. shame upon this house. I missed two. Right. Oh, so it's the yellow ones you have to hit. Oh. Yes. Coop, that's a really good question. Uh, what's the question? If you die in the credits, does the credits end? I don't know. Better question, can you die in the credits? Do you want me to try dying? Oh. Oh. Whoa, hi. Angry credits. I'll tell you what, we'll just wander into all of the places, and uh, we'll mess around with them. Like, all the items are already collected. I'll go to the gallery room and show it off. Like, I have already collected literally everything you kind of have to in order to unlock this place. Alright, so, you just respawn. So, there's your answer. They want to make sure that you watch these credits. Yeah. yeah, you are here for the credits, absolutely regardless. Well, thank you for making it. Not that coins mean anything to me anymore. But the shinies. We need the shinies. Shinies are the important. Let me, uh, I know I already have a cup of soda, a cup of water, but excuse me for a moment. I'm going to get a cup of coffee as well, which I've made previously, started making previously. Alright, that run. So, game volume slightly down, Coop? I.e. we should turn it down? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, I think this is where we go to look at the stuff we unlocked.
dude. And here we have the PlayStation Labo, yeah. where we can find all of our little robotic friends at work and play, exploring the history of the illustrious company known as PlayStation. <laughs> I do love that you get to do the startup noise, Rachel. That's kind of awesome. Let's see. I sometimes worry that my uh, PS4 is on its last legs because it doesn't beep when I hit the power button anymore. <laughs> By the way, um, when you walk around, the controller does a little bit of shake for each leg. Which oh, is that's so cute. cute. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> PSVR. <laughs> yep, here is your PS4 area. Um, I actually am unsure what this guy is, to be honest. But he do slide, though. What in the fuck are you? Is it like a PS4 mini? No, no. Or is it the uh the 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 controller box for the PSVR? That might be it. It might be the controller box for the PSVR. Which would be why I have no idea what it is. Yeah. I mean I went straight to being able to experience, like, PC VR. <laughs> PS uh, VR would just, like, I could have bought in a second PS4 for that price. Bought that on. The Vita. Ah, uh, the Waggle Boy. Uh, I do not miss the PlayStation 3. It was such an awkward, awkward-looking machine. I never had one. We, I... uh... When I moved up here, there was one in the house. Ah. Uh, I completely skipped gaming, basically, in the entire uh, PS3 era. Uh, other than WoW. I tooled around on the PlayStation 3. I played a lot of uh, Rock Band. Ah, there's my baby. That is the the PS2 is the very first console I ever purchased on my own. First one I ever purchased for myself would have been my Wii. PS2 I bought when I very first moved out on my own because I couldn't afford cable and while my uh, my computer was decent enough to like start playing WoW um, I kind of wanted stuff that I didn't have to sit in front of my computer because <laughs> the apartment I was in was so tiny that I had no room for a couch or a desk, so my computer was actually set up on a milk crate on the floor of my living room, and my my TV was on the floor. <laughs> it was an old little like 20 inch CRT. <laughs> By the way, the uh, coins are for the little gotcha game over there that you can play, but like literally just is how you unlock a lot of this stuff in here. It's really cool. Of course the PS5 has its uh... Anything specifically you want to look at? In close-up detail? What about that weird-ass box that we couldn't figure out what it was? 
Oh, uh, let's see here. I think it's bottom row th fourth from the left. This guy. Yep, processor unit. No one really knows what goes on in there. No shit! Because you guys are proprietary as fuck. <laughs> Small room setups make a lot of sense why people get entertainment centers. Yeah. Uh, this was... Uh, my first apartment was pretty much a... It was small enough that it should have been listed as a bachelor or a studio apartment. But these people did had some weird idea to actually, like, just wall off the bedroom so I had an actual bedroom um but like to give an idea the bathroom was tiny enough both in height and size that if you were standing in the tub to take a shower if you were taller than like 5'8 you kind of had to duck a little bit to actually fit a buddy of mine had come over and needed to take a shower and he he was like 62. Yeah, I'm very And he was glad. like bent over double trying to <laughs> fit. I never visited until you lived where you live now. So uh, that wouldn't have worked. <laughs> I don't think we knew each other back then. It was fairly shortly before cuz it was uh just before Chambers and I ah. met. Um, so that was, uh, it was like 2006 I was living there. It was like 500 bucks so above a store. <laughs> do we want to go to Memory Meadows, SSD Speedway, GPU Jungle, or Cooling Springs? We have options. I don't I leave it I leave it to you and Coop. I'll let Coop decide. Um while I get my coffee. Uh they are not based on any classic games, but there's a million references to some classic games in there. Uh you'll see when we get there. It is uh adorable as all fuck. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Get it in my mouth. I some coffee so I will stay up. Speedway! Let's go! And it definitely shows off the, uh, everything here shows off the SSD really well because you can just whoosh anywhere in the game. Damn near instantly. So, throughout this game, you find a bunch of these little Labo dudes uh, acting out different scenes from old games. And it's kind of... kind of real adorable. No way, we're slingshotting? Yeah. That's right, I forgot you about to actually hang glide like this. So... Dude with the camera. Somebody scaling a wall. I actually don't know what game that is, to be honest with you. Juggling. Don't mean nothing to me. Oh, Coop. Denim, denim, denim.
Yeah, the the real like highlight of this thing I think is uh the fact that like it really shows you a lot about what the controller can do and how it do a feel. Mm. Too sharp. And also oh. just how fucking quick that load time is. Yeah. Fucking it. I'm actually really seriously surprised and kind of blown away. Yeah, you're just like right back. And like the further in you go, the uh, the more referency the things get. The game wants you to know, like, hey, remember ye old days, for damn sure. Uh, I'm not gonna bother to try going through the hoops here, I've already done that before. Would you, would you mind springing? Sprung, buddy. Sprung. Sprung. Am I doing So that? they kept the absolutely horrific touchpad. Yeah, from they the did PS4 keep the then. touchpad. Oh, uh, and I just do I just did it wrong. That that was not the game's problem, that was my problem. Whee! Dude, I know that sword! Even though I've never actually played Everybody any knows of that, that series. Alright, oh, I need to hit this guy. It's been a minute since I've played these things, so... Remembering what you do with each interactable object. But lucky for us, we got handy dandy tutorials. Yep. The game tutorializes any time. It's like, you're fucking around. Why are you fucking around? Focus. Your focus needs more focus. Okay, so instead of ripping forward, it's ripped back. Yeah, lunch. like using an actual slingshot. And I am motion controlling badly. Womp. Yeah, it's not that that scene is difficult, it's just that I am difficult. But there's a lot of cool scenes in every place in this game, it's neat. Alright, so. One more time, what's feeling? Did I launch first. myself Same straight into one? No, you got clipped by one of the dudes in the the little speeders. Oh. Cause that's the thing. Traffic. <laughs> what an asshole. I didn't ask for any traffic in my SSD. So, I learned today that you can play GTA 5 online in VR. Yeah. And holy fuck, does it ever look fun. Have you uh, tried it out yet with your VR headset, or...? No, that's Peter, so it's ah. back with him at his uh, family's place. Uh, um, I thought he gave you all, like, his PC and his... Uh... Oh no. Fair enough. He, uh, he definitely kept the PC. Ah. He's slowly but slowly dipping his toes back into gaming again. Okay. Um, I did find, because I've been watching a lot of videos that are centered around the game VR chat, um, I did find a social game that looks it, it's kind of like VR chat. It's got VR support, but you can also play just on a standard PC. And it, uh... <laughs> um, it looks like a much more polished, clean version of Second Life. Oh. And so I was tooling around with that a little bit before stream tonight. Um, I'm probably going to immerse myself in it the entire day tomorrow. 
because uh, it actually has a very robust creation system to the point that you can actually run scripts and stuff in it and I'm curious and I want to explore and it it just looks pretty. I mean, when don't you want to explore the images? Well, dude, I, I'm fucking trapped in my house. I might as well get out, sort of. You might as well. All right. Oh, this is Max Payne Coop? Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, that's so cute! They're all sitting up on the... <laughs> Alright, I think I go up over here. I've just been exploring places where you would have unlocked things normally. Ah! Up to the rocket! I sat around too long and he put on a PSVR headset. That's adorable. <laughs> Alright, we're about to blast off into space. Are you guys ready for space? As long as it's not a SpaceX rocket, I think I'm okay. I mean, I have known PlayStation to crash sometimes, so... Zip yeah, up. but it doesn't crash and explode. <laughs> Alright, so this game, we play with our L and R. Dude! We control our rockets. This is so cute! I am gonna just- I know there is- there is a lot of hidden areas you can go explore. Uh, and that's how you get a lot of the unlockments, but I'm not going to mess around with all that. <laughs> yeah, you are not supposed to hit, you know, wires that are just sitting out. Surprise, I know. Yeah, I mean, who knew live wires are dangerous? <laughs> just a wee bit. I mean, but then again, you'd also assume that people would think that glue isn't hair gel, but... Ah, oh, let's... <laughs> I feel... I feel bad for her on a level. Also, you probably shouldn't be suing Gorilla Glue, but also, like, hey, it's a chance to get paid out of your, you know, shitty time you had, so... I'm not... I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed, I guess is what I'm saying. Nah, man, they're gonna let that go to court. Like, Gorilla Glue would let it go to court just so that way she can get owned in court and get laughed at. Uh, Devil May Cry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely Devil May Cry in the most adorable. Alright. I want a remake of Devil May Cry in this style. I wouldn't mind. Chibi may cry? Chibi may cry, yes. Yeah, people have used super glue in their hair before, but uh super glue comes out. Well, I mean gorilla glue comes out as well. It's just she has an incredibly sensitive scalp apparently and couldn't oh. handle the acetone required. Uh... Add to the fact, she let it go for a month before she decided to try to do something about it. Ooh, that's- that's- that- that's too long. I understand, don't get me wrong. But that do be too long, though. Like, I think of when I dye my hair and how much grow out I get in the span of a month. And, dude, that's just, that's a little much. Oh, fuck me sideways. Wee! Bounce, 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 smack. <laughs> 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 
just running straight into the motherfucker. I remember I mean, this one was not my favorite. I really, really, really want those bouncy things. I mean, you are a bouncy thing, so... Fair point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um... But, like, the fact that she ran out of her her styling gel, oh, right. which is the got-to-be-glued styling gel, yeah, and she assumed that Gorilla Glue would be an appropriate substitute, especially since, like, you know, there's a warning label on it saying do not allow to come in contact with skin or clothing. Yeah. Like, just breath. Yeah, I won't say I'm mad, just disappointed. Well, I mean, when you consider that absolutely every product you see that has a warning label on it, mm -hmm. those, warning lab those warnings are there because somebody's been dumb enough to do it. Not all of them. If they foresaw that someone may be stupid, Okay, the fact that I have an iron mm. where the warning label on it says do not iron clothes while still on body. <laughs> like, it is at that point you need to lose faith in the human race. It do be a bit much though. Dude, you get a cannon? Uh, just in this one game, but yes. You get a little auto cannon to repel all ye invaders. If you light up all the lights. I don't think you doing, yeah, hitting them really does anything. Well, they turn on. Like all of the little hangy lights. Yeah, they they turn on and off. Yeah, but what if we got them all lit up at the same time? There is not a way to do that. Aww. Sorry for anyone with OCD, I'm gonna skip coins, because I don't need them. <gasps> oh, you little electronic rat bastards. Take my Gatling nerf. Do you know that there is actually a nerf gun that's a Gatling gun? Don't surprise me none. I kinda want one. Let's see... I know, game, I was just looking around. Oh. Tell me what to do and shit. Like, dude. Let us, let us, let us reminisce and, like, be in awe of the awesomeness. That's what you want. Yeah, we're here to look at pretty things. I'm sure that spaceship is something that I don't remember as well. Yeah, that doesn't oh my sound god. like a cool experience. Oh, your god? He, he broke out a little PSV. Ah. Um, and yes, Coop, I do actually know that. My sister used to have friends that modded nerf guns. Um, so they used to mod the springs in them, and they got it to the point where they could actually fire a standard nerf dart through a wooden fence. That sounds Which is, like a bad idea. It's horrifying. Especially since they were like teenage boys at the time. I mean, granted, me and Hollis did some dumb shit in like our 20s, so. I mean, we've all done dumb shit. True. <clears throat> I just think 
some of the shit that I've been party to has been exceptionally dumb. Fuck. Exceptionally dumb fuck, yes. That's a correct statement. All this. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I promise. I don't did this all before. Bounce in space! Yeah. Don't super glue your tip. That's, uh, that's a tip for me to you. <laughs> that's a bad idea. I just had somebody pop up on Steam off my friends list playing a game called Creative Destruction and now I desperately need to figure out what this game is. Creative destructo Destruction is what you do basically every day of your life, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, it's an FPS T uh, TPS sandbox survival game. Ah. Uh, yeah, and that it's free. Like Ooh. You'll have to uh, tell, if it's, tell, if it, bleh, tell us if it's any good. Oh, hell no. No? No, no. This looks like it's Fortnite. Oh. But Steam. Um, large scale battlefield of 16 million square meters. There are 13 interesting enchanted spots. In this wonderland, you can experience varied weather and time systems. Beware, all elements in sight can be built or dismantled. You were born to be armed with a secret weapon named Destructor, whereby anything can be harvested and transformed into building materials. You can build bastions at your fingertips via an innovative workshop system. Yeah, that's pick Fortnite. Creative, pick creative weapons, race against snowstorms, and dive into the do-or-die battle. Yeah, so there's a classic Battle Royale mode. Um, and explorers can participate in various battle modes during specific time. We've developed an all-around system that integrates functions like season, friend, look, supply, and gallery. Uh, explorers will have everything they need in game. Besides, we also prepared some fun stuff hidden somewhere in the game. Hope you can find it. Oh, it's done by Netties. Oh. Nope. nope. Why no? That is as fuck. Eh. They do, like, you know, do a whole lot of them, uh, gotcha mechanics, but. Yeah. I had somebody tell me I needed to try Genshin Impact. Ah, uh, I considered. I was told not to. By my lovely Twitter. I I'm not a big fan of the gacha mechanic because I'm a completionist. I definitely am not. I have played a lot of gacha games and been just fine. No fucking shit. <laughs> That was a raw deal, man. It do happen that way, though. That's, I mean, they designed this room on purpose this way. But hey, it's not like it takes too long to reload anything to begin with, so... It's fine. All right. We beat the SSD area. I love that pathway. It is adorable. And for a treble, we win a free PlayStation 2. Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 Two thousand. Shit. Twenty-one years ago. People born when the PlayStation came out can drink now. People born when the PlayStation 2 came out can vote. Eep. 
I don't need to be here. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go to one of my favorites. I like the GPU jungle a lot. You had to pay to finish your dailies? Oh yeah, Coop, that's brutal. There, there, that's a good reason right there as to why I'm not gonna play this game. <laughs> that's a good call. I will stick with Sansar for the foreseeable future because right now I need the most casual of casual games. So. Look at you becoming a filthy casual. I know. But you figure, like, my gaming time is kind of limited down to, like, a couple hours a week now. Yeah, same, except for obviously this week. I'm usually just so fried that, like, I have the spoons to play, uh... I have the spoons to play, like, for stream. And even that has not been really a thing. I can feel it. Gotta cancel this week. Oh my god, the little steps that you were going up were triggers. Yep. That's amazing. We'll go down a side path real quick. For the funsies. So pretty, too. <laughs> yeah, each area in each uh, path has like little unlockables you have to find and that would have been the one one of the two for this area angry birds very angry birds that's not uncharted at all no <laughs> no and i mean i grabbed the uncharted bundle on the PS4 when it uh, when it was free, and even that I have not gotten very far into. Just I got so frustrated so quickly. I haven't tried it to be honest with you. I'm kind of more excited for the movie that's coming out. Yeah, I look forward to the movie. I definitely will give give that a watch when it comes. Get, get. I mean. Tom Holland playing Nathan Drake? Yes. Um, I am way too excited for uh, the Clone High uh, two seasons that are coming up soon. Wait, what? Yeah, they're bringing back Clone High and giving uh, Velma her own show on HBO Max. Oh. I mean, like, now they're just taking our childhoods. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. <laughs> if I get uh, more clone high, you can do whatever the hell you want to. Well, um, like, Netflix just released Faith, the Winx Saga, the which is saga? based on a s Winx Saga. It's it's based on like this. I guess if we're gonna class it as something, it'd be like a magical girl cartoon. Ah. That my sister and I watched together when we were younger. Okay. And they brought it back as a live action series. And they've okay, only released cool. season one so far, but it's actually pretty solid. Alright, so this one is a little bit awkward. Bump. I'm sorry, they gave you a monkey mecha? Yep. And what you have to do is tilt your controller and change what button, shoulder button you're grabbing as you go up. And different pedestals will have different reactions. That's kind of actually really cool. It's kind of neat, but getting all of the like special unlockables from this section is frustrating as all fuck out. But I don't hate it. <laughs> as we climb. 
All right, bouncy path. And we do a flippy thing. Oh my god. This is fucking hilarious. I am sure this is delightful to watch me doing on a stream. No, I'm oh. starting to think that the reactions on this controller were Sony going, how much can we emulate the OG Wii? <laughs> without getting nailed for copyright or patent infringement. <laughs> so I'm a spider, so what? Interesting name. Huh. Maybe. I have I have issues with spiders. <laughs> but I will take a look. Fucking get away from me. What are you guys doing? Just chilling out? Alright. Just curious, I'm just curious. Chilling like the mini villains that they are. I've done smarter. Girl gets reincarnated as a spider, but with hum her human memories? Oof. That would be horrifying. Especially if you were like a complete arachnophobe in life. Big boy. He looks like the Iron Giant. <laughs> big, big boy. I want to give him a hug. Yeah, the fact that those platforms are fucking trigger buttons are just amazing. It is some adorable shit. What's going on back here then? And it looks like- oh my god, they are! The side of those uh, wooden planks. Or wooden seeming planks. They're USB ports. Yeah, <laughs> they uh, basically- all of the geography in the game is supposed to be some sort of uh, part of hardware. Who are you? Somebody in a cape with a shooty ray gun? I am not familiar. I'm racking my brain, but it's not working. E. Although the popping in and out of bushes, that kind of like screams Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah, it could be Assassin's Creed. I have not played much But of there them. were no shooty ray guns. What is a thing over there? Also, a hey, PlayStation cord. Oh my god. It is, too. Um, can I jump over there using this? Kind of? I want to see what's going on over there. There we go. This is amazing. This is so amazing. Oh, oh! Uh, it's, uh, I think it's Jumping Jack. Maybe? I'm like sure. Jack and Daxter? No, like there was a, a game on the original PlayStation called Jumping Jack. Memory cards. And slots. Amazing. That glass shatter texture, though. And we boot back where we're supposed to be. The big computer wall with the face thing, it looks like, like, it reminds me so much of, like, Deep Thought from Hitchhiker's Guide. I can see that. Get a bow! This section is kind of neat. 
it is very, uh, wee. <laughs> Not to put too fine a point on it. Oh, dude, hit the guys with the balloons. The guys with the balloons. Okay. They're to your right. They're floating up in the sky. I don't think we can actually hit the guys. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, but we can hit the balloons. Yeah, we can be jackasses. Fear of falling what now? <laughs> All right, so. Ha! I accidentally got a trophy. You know, I've never, like, uh, platinumed a single PlayStation game ever. It just always sounds like all of the little trophies you have to uh, get always sound so fucking annoying. It's always something that requires you to do all sorts of weird shit. Yeah, I can understand that. I mean, I was on my way to platinuming the original release of Okami. Like, a friend of mine dared me to uh, platinum Final Fantasy VII Remake because he did, and all I really have to do is the mini games. But god. Maybe if I get like a whole shitload of downtime someday. Because I gotta do the mini games. I have to get all of the. the. Uh, the monster abilities. And that's it. Um, also, I have to get the three types of dresses for each character. So it's not like I have anything difficult to do. It's just tedious. I don't. Know what game this is? That hair and the the black wait, wait, wait. belt and yeah, this is one of the fighting games. I, I forget which tech in. Tech in. Yeah. Thank you, Coop. My brain started going fuck. One of the old super polygony games. <laughs> super polygony games. Yeah, because Tekken had some big old polygons. All right, this time the monkey, but harder monkey. How hard can you monkey? We. <laughs> Look, I'm aware. I was just waiting for those little fucks to go by. Yep. Yep. The game really cares about how and when you let go. Well, it kind of makes sense. Yeah. I mean, that is the whole point of the thing. Get in place. Grab boy by mouth. Alright, uh, we've done section crap. one. It looks so horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it is mildly weird, that's for sure. And do use all of the controllers, you know, like the Indians used to use. <laughs> there is a side path over there. Just fucking around with it.
All right, this part is a pain in the dick. Are you patient? I hope I'm you are. I'm just thinking of the level of grip strength you would actually need to make this work. Uh, all of it? Uh, cause you gotta support your whole goddamn body weight on this shit. Especially since he's holding himself with a bent elbow too, like that's yeah. kind of... ...redonkulously hellish. He do be a monkey though, so... That's helping him out. Also, Ruben. You got to go tobogganing. Yeah. It looks like you can also build like a heckin' snowball. <laughs> what are we playing in here? Monster escape? Okay. You kids I have fun. I don't know this game. But you're apparently freezing to death. <laughs> uh, no, he is. Oh, what, I can't even knock him out? Maybe if you do the spinny one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nope. Or, like, your laser boots to, uh... Oh, laser boots. Because that's heat, right? Uh, do not seem to be doing anything. Aw. Sorry, uh, buddy. You are destined to freeze to death. Unsure who Dress Lady is? It feels like I should remember. So, I officially want one of these little Astro dudes as, like, a robotic companion. And I want one of the little Astro bunnies as a plushie. Yeah, the Astro bunnies would be nice. Promise greatness delivered more. It delivered more than greatness? Is that what you're saying, Sony? Okay. Coffee done. And then I reach for the other thing to drink to get the coffee flavor out of my mouth. Why would you want to get the coffee flavor out of your mouth? Because when coffee gets stale, it starts to suck. Oh, clearly, my friend, you are not drinking the right kind of coffee. I, I just don't like coffee aftertaste. Like, I need it out of my mouth as soon as I can. Because once it starts to go fuzzy, then I am not happy. And again, I am a smoker, so... Also true. Oh, I know what that game is! What game? The the one that they're showing with the little floaty yeah, thing yeah, yeah. and the what, dude... What game is it's this? It's Flower. What's a flower? Flower is probably one of the most beautiful games I have ever mm. played. And that's literally what it is, is like... You kind of control the wind as you're guiding all of these flower petals to go wake up the flowers in the level. I get you. It's beautifully zen. It's kind of impossible to lose, but it's it's like Sounds an nice. active meditation. I, I guess. Do you like my meditation though? I highly recommend. Uh, it's actually available on Epic right now. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Ape Escape? Uh, looks like. Uh, something also back here in this corner. Hmm, unsure. Uh. Like oh. My... oh! Oh! Um, no wait, that was Sega, not Sony. Uh, like my shit. brain went to Maximo, but I don't think it is. I started thinking Shovel Knight. Mm, don't think about Shovel Knight. Oh, Medieval! Ah, Medieval. That's it. Ah. It's a circuit board, Clippy. I think this one uh, area has the most cameos in it. If I remember correctly. 
<laughs> I'm going to move this very carefully. Oh my god. Is that... Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that is Norman Reedus in the group. You go back very careful. Any shit. Poor Norman. Beritus, sir, I don't think you've ever looked more adorable. What are you? Um. You mean obviously an envelope with a leaf on it? A lot of this seems ridiculously familiar and I don't know what it's from. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, when somebody reminds me, like, oh yeah, fuck, I should know that. But I don't. You come here before you fuck with me in the middle trying to do a jump. Ah, every PlayStation Easter egg in <laughs> Crash. Okay. Oh, go fuck yourself with this one bullshit. Uh, fair enough, looks good. Uh, so, when you have the umbrella on, you can actually feel the, like, the little raindrops. Uh, Alright, so yep, that was Flower and Ape Escape. Medieval, Death Stranding, the envelope is Tearaway. Don't know that one. I don't either. Ondorgy thing and a PSVR. Um... Give me a minute. That is The Last Guardian. Ah, yeah. Didn't play that one. That's Thank you, though. Coop, for this awesome uh, resource. I managed to get it pulled up just by going back into the sidebar menu for it. Because um, now it's not going to bother me that I, I recognize this shit and I can't place it. Uh, somebody dying in the rain? Heavy rain. Uh, didn't play that one either. I wanted to, but chicken shit. That's entirely fair. Okay, avoid all of the things. You popped. I wanted to play it, Coop. I really did. <laughs> it, it... It's so much time, though, that you'll never get back. Jump into a fan. This is not a good idea. Oh, oh, I know this reference. It's Wizard of Oz. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think this is where we go bowling. Plain fields. What do you know? I've already got our, our Easter egg references here. Yeah, in case we run into them. Yep. There's apparently a bunch. Ah, uh, trackpad. That's right, right, Coop? That is fucking stellar. Yeah, there's no loading scenes, you just kind of wander straight the fuck into them. So I think we just passed one for MLB The Show. Yeah, I'm not worried about missing MLB The Show. 
<laughs> I am and sure you whap it up. Somebody that cares, but it ain't Bounce. me. Bounce. And this just screams of like super monkey oh, ball. There's actually jumping jack flash over there. Yep. That is literally jumping jumping. flash. And that's it for this area, actually. It's just the two. Don't surprise me. You can actually feel the goop, and it's kind of unsettling. There's something up there. <sighs> I'm just going to call it not worth it. Okay, so it was Jack and Daxter, so I, I wasn't losing my mind. The ears kind of gave it away. Uh, I don't think we have to go that way. This is the way we go. But, like, if we're skipping cool things, I'm, you know, sorry, not sorry. This is just amusing. Yeah. If you want to watch somebody who will actually unlock everything, you Monk. know, there's YouTube. Oh my god, he waves in the ball. <laughs> okay, Electro Cloud, which moves us there immediately is so into much more stuff. Just care into the little things that they did here. Yeah. Okay, so the little spinny jet thing is from Air Combat or Ace Combat. Mm, means nothing. Um, to me. It was released on the PS. Like, it. It's the RCO one from the cover of Air Combat, which was the first game in the Ace Combat series released on the PS1 in 95, developed by Namco. Sometimes I do want to poke into things. Um, yeah, I don't think there is anything too important that way, though. That's Ghost of Tsushima. Ah. Hey, buddy. I hate you. Many little side tracks to go wander down if you so like, but I would like to be done with this tonight. Um, and we probably will, uh, even with some time for a Hades run, uh, from the looks of time. Yay. Man on a Wire? Uh, Infamous. Ah, uh, never played that either. This is just like... Reminding me of all the games that I never played. <laughs> right? Look at you hosting a talk show about video games and never playing any of them. I think I feel you guys like always ask every Monday, so what have you been playing? And it's like nothing. <laughs> I mean, half the time I haven't either. Looks like there is something over here, so let's go fuck on this path real quick. Hi guys! Um... That is Siren. Not familiar. Looks like a horror? Uh, it was. Let's see. 2003 on PS3, developed by SE Japan Studio. The story is set in rural Japan, hence the straw hat. In 2016, it was ported to the PS4 with added trophy support. Look at this giant flying CRT. He's a thwomp. I was just gonna say, this is Sony's answer to a thwomp, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. um... Oh, there is a little dude on top of the CRP. Oh, it's even got the little, uh, the little red, white, yellow plugs. Whose names I can never remember. RCAs. 
Yay. <laughs> I say that as I have a CRT sitting behind me that has RCAs. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't realize this go away. I wanted to look at the back. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they didn't use, like, Sony branded anything here for the TVs. I guess maybe they didn't want a Sony TV murdering you, so... Yeah, you know, Sony's supposed to be happy, friendly products. Hence Astro. Yeah. But they made these. Not these TVs that they are doing here. The timing on that is weird. Also, hopefully it's not bothered anybody that I'm not looking directly at the camera while I'm doing this, like... No. Not yeah. expected. Uh, cause I got everything running on this side screen in order to get it going. Um... I do a scare? Please do not close the hand, though. Thank you. Oh, my God, Terry. Be gentle, Flux. Thank you. He is a big boy. <laughs> All right. More Bumper ball time. Broadway. Perfect. If we do run across any areas that you want me to go through, let me know if there's any, like, cool things that you really want to say. Uh, there's not really any easter eggs until you hit the very end. Oh, Japan only TV. Okay. See, I would have thought they would have, like, done something, uh... Is Furnitron only, uh, modern? Or one of their more popular, uh, TV, at least. Oh, I love this area. Okay. So, if we go to the left-hand side of the CRT TVs... You're going to see kitties. Yeah. This is from Doko Demo Isio, uh, which is actually for the device. That's uh, a reference was, I would have never caught. It was released in 99 only in Japan mm -hmm. and developed by Sony Interactive. Uh, it's most famous for starring Tor Toro Inoue also known as the Sony cat who wishes to become human. The black cat is Toro's sidekick Kuro, and on this side we have Ridge Racer. It's Ridge Racer! Which was released in 97 for the PS1 and made by Delphine Software Interaction Inter International. The OG. All right, one more area to go, and then we can okay. call it close. So that uh, that one that we couldn't figure out what it was, where they were walking up the wall with the little red ball. Yeah. Uh, it is a reference to Gravity Rush. Ah, uh, another game I never. <laughs> it was released for the PS Vita. Yep, never owned a Vita. Or a PSP, for that matter. Because I had very limited budget, and uh, Game Boy was very good for limited budget people. <laughs> what? I can go and find a game for $7 at GameStop? Alright. Okay. So, where are we? Is uh, this Bot Beach? Yeah. Okay. So, there's actually a reference. It should be right around here. Yeah. Uh, head right, look for an orange boat. Apparently. Orange boat. Oh, I think it's over off into the wild. Yes. Oh, 
Uh, it should be like pulling up on the sand. What are you holding? That looks like an Echo the Dolphin reference. I do, but like, was not Echo the Dolphin only on the Genesis? It was, and it's not listed here. Um, but there's apparently supposed to be a boat with a big bot and a little bot in it, and it's for God of War. <laughs> yeah, I think it's on the other side. Um... Further along the beach is a giant bot head Let's with see. little tiny baby bots. Some dude over here painting. That is Concrete Genie. Don't know, bro. 2019 PS4 game. The main character uses a paintbrush that can bring his creations to life. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, this has got to work. Or uh, Dad of yep. Boy. That's 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 definitely God of War. He's so cute. <laughs> and the giant bot head is Loco Roco. <laughs> okay, that's adorable as shit. There's apparently a rubber duck, too. Oh, it's always, it's all the way throughout. Um, it's the PS2 rubber duck. It's from the original 1999 PS2 tech demo at the Tokyo Game Show. Ah, uh, that's a deep ass cut. If we're going all the way back to the the old game show and later on they well they used uh the tech demo was to show how one rubber duck interacted with a sink of water and at e3 2005 they used a bathtub to demonstrate the power of the ps3 only with hundreds of ducks oh. rumble 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 Yeah, the the uh, PS5 controller rumble is uh, really surprisingly detailed. Yeah, so these are our rubber ducks from our tech demo. Uh, we've obviously got floaties in the shape of buttons. Which are referred to in this article as the sacred symbols. Okay, boys. I love that you cannonball. That is the cutest thing ever. He is kind of adorable. Um, oh, that's a fat princess. Yes, it is. I've seen some friends playing that before. Alright, so I believe I have to go in here to move forward. So apparently fat princess was a capture the flag style game, but you had to feed your princess cake to make her heavier and therefore harder for your opponents to steal. Yeah, I, uh, I watched Shane play a little bit of it, but I never played any of it myself, though. Oh, that's kind of adorable up there. Yeah, and you can, like, feel, like, the compression makes it a little bit harder to, uh, pull back on the, the thing. Which is neat. Actually, I think this is quick. Okay, yeah, that's just a piece of stuff out there. Might have been the next minute. 
Breaking through glass ceilings every day. Oh, it's a PlayStation. I broke it. <laughs> All right, just continue to head up. Time of little jumps. There seems to be something. There. Awkward control. Be awkward though. <laughs> Wait, is the jumpy noise coming out of... Hold on. I'm it is, because I can hear the jumpy noise. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I thought it was actually coming through the game, but yeah, it is coming through the controller, though. All right, on to lands unknown. <laughs> I don't think anyone needs an explanation of what that is. Yeah, I mean, really. I never played any of the games and even I know what that one is. <laughs> you did watch me play a bit of one though. I did. And you had no idea what was going on. Which nope. is the correct way to respond to uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. I was so confused. Let's see here. Where we go, though. Ah, another strong man buried in the snow instead of sand. Good for you. Hey friends! I love the penguins. Okay, so dude with the hat. That's until dawn. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going and not go look at friends over there. Poor game, I don't remember. Oh right, Hollis played that game. Um. Oh, we're ice skating. So cute. Ice skating poorly. Okay. Does it look like there's a thing over there and I want to go touch it? Oh, they're just fishing. Okay. That's fine. I'm not gonna but worry penguins. about it. Penguins! Yay, penguins! Like it's... it was made for you. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm always just so giddy when there's weird snow textures in a game, but I love it every time, always. More fishing. I thought you were people. Turns out you're not people. Please don't mess with me. I have things to do, places to go. I don't need your Easter eggs, to sir. Tea. <laughs> Why are all these robot -y things trying to kill my face? I don't understand what you are. And we these are just these are just very obviously Sony's competitors. Ah, they must be Microsoft. Well, oh, you nice. know they're not going to say it outright, but well, good job because I don't like. It.
Crash Course. Let's go. Alright, jump between floaty object to floaty object. I can do that. One of my favorites. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, if people can't figure out what this one is, we, we've got uh, serious problems. Let's see, we've got lady with beret and man in flak jacket behind a door that's looking like a zombie on the other side, and then there's a scientist playing around with some sort of pathogen looking thing. Um, Little Big Planet. Anyway. Yes, that's it exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is one of my favorites, though. I love the, uh, the and little level. The dude that's dudes. in the cage, yeah. um, in the water, mm -hmm. is for PSVR Worlds. Oh, that's another thing I don't know jack or shit about. Uh, it's kind of like VR chat for. PlayStation. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. There's just so many PlayStation things that I have never fucked around with before at all. No! No! How dare you! I was doing so good! I'm gonna just blame this robot for any time that I mess up because it's clearly his fault. Mr. Robot, you should do better. Jump technology still in beta. But it's a feature, not a bug. <laughs> there we go. Just gonna smash all the things now. seem to be anything important over here. So we just keep going up. Volleyball. Oddly enough, not an Easter egg. Just volleyball. Yeah, that don't surprise me. I don't think anything important is over here. I think it's just another doodad. Uh, hell. You gotta charge, you jump, and then jump! Fuck. <laughs> I charged too hard! I mean, at least there is no... I didn't see the spikes coming. Very good, very good. He's so happy when he comes back to life, though. He give a little wave like nothing happened. Mm, don't think that's a thing. Uh, no. The Clippers might be something? Yes. That is from a game called Puppeteer. Eat. God is eat. I have never even heard of that one. Um, it's a PS3 game, developed by SIE, uh, Japan Studio. This game takes in place entirely within a stage, with main character Kutaro, who uses Calibris, a magic pair of scissors. Okay. It sounds nice. Guy. Guy. Promise. Breath. He do be slippery, though. All right. At the very end of the level, it says to turn around. Nope. Going straight to the wrap of the wrap. Bot. 
wearing a blue cap, trying to crack a safe, who retreats when you get close. Which would be a reference to Sly, Sly Cooper. Cooper. I have not played Sly Cooper either, but I have seen the Sly Cooper. We had a Parappa Parappa. With, yep. Let's see. And um, Jammer Lammy. E. All right. That is the full, like, other than going down side roads, that's uh, Astro's left. Or whatever. Close that. Oh, poor Nomi. Aww, Nomi. Just digging through a whole pile of PlayStation discs. Alright, so should we do a Hades? Sure, we can do a Hades. I'm gonna go grab some coffee myself because I need functionality. Yeah, if I'm, we're going to do this for another hour and a half. <laughs> yes. I've been quasi awake since stupid hours, so. Oh, dumb. Very dumb. Girl, girl needs caffeine to function, so I will be back while you get Hades up and running. Okay, so we will be disabling the capture card shortly and moving over to the computer. Okay. Yeah, the baby robots are super adorable, and I do... This this game that they put together, it's for the free, and it is just adorable. It is nothing but pure propaganda, sure. But it's pure propaganda in the bestest of ways. It's also a publicly released tech demo. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, you know, three-hour game if you do everything that the game has to offer. Like, there's a lot of shit we skipped over because I just didn't want to spend the time redoing it because some of those challenges do be hard, though. Alright. Where is my turn-off? Okay. So I'm going to go fetch and Z to coffee. I will be back. Yeah, do the coffee. Hey, why are you not going to the little menu where you do a turn-off? Uh... Please pull up the menu with, with the turn-off intro? Please? Do I have to actually be in-game in order to pull up that little menu? There you are. Enter rest mode. Cool. Let me go fetch my controller and that will be two shakes.
Sorry, I turned that off so you didn't hear me pee. Okay, so I haven't played this on the computer in a bit. Fix the volume. And... Game capture... To... Capture a specific window, Hades.vt. Okay. Returned and I have coffee. Welcome back. Uh, move this down one. Alright. Uh, hopefully the game audio is not overbearing. Let me know if I need to uh, lower that audio a little bit from the game. I think it looks like it's in the right area. I should really spend more time looking at OBS. Literally, Coop taught me more um, about setting up OBS in like 10 minutes than like. I have known in so far entirely. Okay. Uh, I actually have a streaming save. I believe it is the third one. Is uh, the save just for stream? Or, yeah, it is the third one. So let's go with that. Pretty quick, you know, boyo. Just be sure yeah, because it's definitely been a while since he streamed Hades. Oh yeah. Dash like mad instead of a very straight. hot minute. Not the worst advice, I guess. Uh, before launch, at least. Okay, so. Do I have? I do not have three keys to unlock that. Let's take a look at what That's we actually one. have. Primordial Egg, Skull Earrings, and so that's the best thing I have so far. Yeah, let's let's go on with that. But it's what are you? Well, I'm powered by a boom. Actually, not a bad place okay. to start off. So I'm going to take the sword for now. Care for a warm up with that? We seem to not have a whole lot in the way of power-ups on the save yet, but we've only done seven runs so far. I cannot help but wonder, dear, as why Lord Hades would have kept your mere existence hidden from us all this time. Perhaps he knew that once you met us, you would stop at nothing to come seek us out. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, let's see. The cast is pretty good. Beautiful. Especially with, uh the weapon that I have. Normally I would probably have taken the dash, but you know. With the sword, having a short distance thing is not bad. Don't keep me waiting. It is so weird playing this on PC. <laughs> Um, I'm kind of used to how the, uh, it's very low, uh, okay, yeah, I'll, uh, bump it up a bit again. Let's put it there. Yeah, I can imagine, um, that the at least starting music was too loud, because it is... A lot louder than a lot of the other things in the game. Time to tune out this sword. 
All right. Yeah, Dash Drake is huge with the sword, so I definitely want that. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do a few runs until midnight. Uh, Merwin, you don't have to stay up the whole time, you know. So. But I want to. That's fair. And it's not like I have anything else to do tonight, too, right? So... Okay. But uh, don't you have, like, work in the morning? It's Wednesday. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's entirely fair. I know, I'm mad thrown off by that too, because normally Peter's here through Friday morning when he's visiting. Yeah. Family is a but, thing. Yeah, he's gotta take his mom for her pre-op meetings and everything, because she has to go in for surgery next week. Ah. That's balls. What, uh, yeah. if you don't mind me asking, what kind of surgery is she having? She is having a cancerous tumor removed from her neck. Oh, her too? Mm-hmm. Love to know. Is that family just, like, predisposed for, uh, for cancer, or...? What's for sale? I mean, I look at my mom's side of the family. You've got... My mom's sister, who had has the same kind of cancer my dad did, but hers is much less aggressive. Um, my mom's brother-in-law, husband of her other sister, um, has cancer, I believe, in his throat. Um, to the shadows. Mom's the most violent one of mom's of brothers has a Let's do this again sometime. blood and bone oh. cancer, and his wife it's been excellent to know you, sir. has lupus. So, please, this is for you, Lord. So I mean, between that and then Dad's cancer that he had, his mother surviving breast cancer, I'm fucked. <laughs> You're not wrong. I'm, I'm just waiting. Understandable. But first things first. Now let me add a little something to all that. Hey, you might still pass through fine. Yeah. Cheers, Uncle. Alright, the sight and summon isn't too bad. What? I've tolerated your impudence for long enough. I have grown so used to playing this game in handheld mode, so being able to, like, see all the little details on the screen. Because I've played it only on the Switch since release, because uh, I like my Switch. <laughs> um, and it feels more comfortable, like, playing on this in, you know, random settings. And, Anyway. So, I mean, I don't have a lot of experience with this game. Okay. Um, so basically this is like a melee bullet hell? Uh, it can be. Um, there are also, uh, ranged weapons you can have. So there are multiple choices. Uh, the sword is Zagreus's default weapon and each chamber do have a whole lot of uh random bad guy in it though mm. and you have to uh murder them and each area has different bad guys different types of traps and uh all sorts of shenanigans mm. as well each time you finish a run uh you get a little bit stronger Let's see. Yeah, let's do chaos. Hit me. Even so, if chaos hurts. And you said this was Pythagoras. Is what? This 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 our our hero dude is Pythagoras. He's Zagreus. Oh, Zagreus. E. I thought you said Pythagoras. I'm like, seriously, the the, the dude with the math. No, the the son of Hades. Zagreus. Oh, okay. 
the Libyans catch their glimpses now and then. And uh, your mom left the underworld, so you're trying to find her without letting your dad know that that's what you're trying to do. Also, you can't let uh, the people in Mount Olympus know that that's what you're trying to do either, um, for reasons you'll find out later. Hmm. Um, yeah, not having money is fine. Getting big boons is definitely better than that, so... Um, you have two different types of attack. You will mostly see me using the sword's uh, main attack, though it do also have an AoE attack. Uh, you can also cast. Um, I have three casts that I can use any time. I uh, traded in the base cast for... Um, uh, da -da -da. Uh, one that makes uh, things weak and is short ranged, and does a lot more damage. Hmm, let's see here. Okay. Let's see. I need shadow a whole lot, so I'm willing to spend some money on that. All right, pomegranates upgrade your existing skills. Coin is coin. Uh, since we can't get coin right now, <laughs> we have to get pomegranates. Normally, I'd rather have money, but um, yeah. I'll take a pomegranate to upgrade something. That's cool. And the uh, gods uh, at Mount Olympus can give you abilities, and also so can uh, the OG god, Chaos, from which everything else was born. He is the mother, or he is basically the father to Nyx. And I would guess also Zeus? Or was Zeus born of Titan? Because he created the Titans, and I don't know if Zeus was born of the Titans or not. I forget that. I think he might have been, which is why he was so hell-bent on killing the Titans. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have a lot of money, so let's go again with our zaddy zat. Yeah, let's take that. Hi, Merlin! Hey! You want to say hi to the stream, buddy? Kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, buddy. Kitty, 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 kitty. He says hi. And bye. He doesn't like being held. <laughs> yeah, Merlin has a long tail. Like, it is, like, the size of his body. Oh, hello. Uh, this is Megra. She, she is usually the first boss. You really did it. That Hydra was a total bastard, though. Bastards. <laughs> but you sound practically impressed with me there. Oh, mate. so Hercules' so girlfriend bad. became badass. Gotcha. Mm. She is uh, one of the uh, three. I forget what they're called now. Shit. Furies. Yeah, the three Furies. Uh, she is the Fury, I believe, of punishment. As to Merlin, I believe when Josh was trying to get teach me to tell Merlin and Sans apart, it was no Merlin is uh, what was it, Wormy Longboy? Yep. Yeah, Merlin is Chaos Boy. Not so fast. Uh, we lost one of our. Uh, you can die a few times before you die. Die. So we lost one of our death things to Megara, but we can buy it back later. Wormy Longboy is a good name. Yes. Yes, and San is definitely the HBIC. Uh, the, she takes no shit and the prisoners at the same time somehow. 
Uh, between each stage, you get that fountain. And you can buy things. You can sell off your boons that you got if you have any you don't like. We also uh, could trade out abilities, but considering that I don't have attack yet, I want to keep the uh, the thing I currently have equipped. I'll probably trade that out later. Anything shiny can be inspected. None other than those in the trusted inner circle of Lord Hades. And uh, Deep Voice Boy gives us a readout of what it is. Regions of the underworld. Whom Zagreus seems to be able to hear. Yeah, Sans is still my favorite cat of the two. I definitely <laughs> have a preference for her, but uh, I do still love Merlin. He is a good boy. But Trav, it's the first rule of parenting. You're not supposed because to choose a favorite. They're cats. They don't know any different. And I love them both a whole lot, but uh, Sans is a better cat. <laughs> Even if Merlin does have some things he does better, um, he likes being petted a whole lot more. So he, he is an attention whore. So uh, also, don't expect us to actually escape L on this playthrough. Because uh, we don't have a lot of things going for us yet. We haven't saved up enough shadow for any of the real good stuff that would help us get further. Also, I am uh, not avoiding explosions, so that's, you know, a thing. My keep. I treat both of them the same, so they don't know. Oh, we definitely want Hermes. Uh, On to the next one. He works as his own tier of uh, special. You don't get like better attacks or anything out of him. You only get things that uh, either speed you up or change the way you work overall in some way. So uh, whenever you see Hermes, you definitely want him. Or if you see a hammer, you want to go through the hammer portal thing, because that's an upgrade to your weapon. And they're usually the best thing to get in the game. I cannot exploit explosions for the fucking life of me today. Oh, you're a hot mess there, cuz. What happened getting him? Oh, well, hope you traveled from a little smoother here on out. Let's see... I think I want to dash one more time. Having an extra dash is actually ridiculously helpful. We don't have enough money. Did our boon from Chaos finish? Yeah, it did. So let's uh, let's go for the money route. But hey, if we die, we die. And we get to start over again. Now, I will say on my Switch save, I did escape Hades on my third attempt. So it's not like it's required to uh, escape Hades to have all of the upgrades, but it sure do help. And uh, I just got ridiculously overpowered by accident on uh, that save real quick. I mean, it's a roguelike, so what you actually get between areas changes a lot. Um, I know it's the more difficult path, but uh, I want boons. All the boons I can get, and uh, also he is one of my favorites, so we're going to do the mini-boss. We do have one more Death Defiance in us, so um, we won't die if we die, but uh, I would rather not have to use another Death Defiance, because they cost a lot of money to get back. 
that or you have to get lucky and there's a dude at the end that can give you back death defiances. But you have to luck out and actually get them. Lady, can you actually come to an area where I can hit you? That would be nice. I do not have a ranged weapon, so I cannot hit you over there. Made me jump into the fire and use my death defiance like an asshole. Zag, now you keep at it like you have been, and I bet we'll all be hanging out up here in no time flat. I'm with you all the way. Dionysus is such a bro. Um, yeah, actually, hangover attacks aren't bad. So we are on our last life, so hopefully we make good with this life. Of course, Dionysus is a bro. He's the god of wine. Of course, he'd be a pro. Wine, parties, debauchery. He? All those fun things. That make life he was living. literally the OG frat boy. Yeah, so I got his attack. Uh, it's hangover. It's basically your poison. Hmm. But the game calls it hangover, so I can stack up to five poisons on anything with my attack now. Uh, I usually don't like taking that as my attack, but um, I don't know. It, it was the best out of the options that I had. And also, now that I have an attack, I'll want to change out my, uh, my cosm- my, uh, Whatever item. Get the name of it. As soon as humanly possible. That'll keep me alive. Okay, so, yes, very much want to replenish a death defiance, even if that wastes nearly all of my catch. Back to the Hermes route? Because we want to be as speedy as humanly possible. So this is a decent build so far. Um, it's uh, not going to be good against any ranged enemies for sure. But it's not bad. We can build something off of this. Uh, as well, when you actually take a boss or a, a, a god's like upgrade, it basically works them into the rotation. So if you don't Take a god's boon, you may not get them again, but if you do take it. Uh, yeah. Um, quick favor, yeah. <laughs> it's epic, and it means that, uh, my. I can use god powers very quickly. My god power currently is Poseidon's charge, so it's useful. Let's go for it. Uh, Ares. Why not? We didn't have the money to spend at Charon anyway. You are a most impressive death dealer, my kin. Well, by my estimation, you have slain at least a thousand souls down there. Souls mostly having died before, but still. <laughs> He's proud of us. Ooh. So, I'm not a huge fan of Ares, um with the attack it basically uh three seconds after you attack it deals damage but that being a heroic upgrade and i'm not really a huge fan of uh what we had anyway but also having a special for doom is also pretty good i think i'm going to go with the special and keep what i have gods like to one-up each other though that's that's <laughs> Uh, routine. The boss of this floor is the Bone Hydra. So I am going to try to use both of the weaknesses against it as often as possible. So I'll try to work in the occasional special attack. 
the Bone Hydra summons its various heads, as well as sometimes uh, Skellymans. We've killed off all of its other heads, so... Uh, this is his next phase. We get even more heads to fill. Kind of makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll probably make it out of this, especially given that we have uh, Poseidon's charge. So we don't. We basically have a period of invincibility. Not whenever we want it, but whenever my gauge is charged, and seeing as we can charge it automatically, yeah. So we at least will make it to the third area. But I imagine this is where we will die. <laughs> Let's change out our keepsake. Just what the house contractor ordered. Um, yeah, taking less damage is probably a good idea here. I don't really want the additional health. Let me double check. Yeah, let's let's go with Mirbron's racer for now. One more floor. Third floor. Another day, all night in paradise. Uh, this is where all the kings and uh, people of valor get to go to Elysium. Wow. If you drink from the rivers, you can forget anything that uh, you know. It's like that's the floor of Elysium. And we're going to go for a weapon upgrade first. Uh, any hero that you kill, their soul will remain until you kill that as well, and they can find a weapon to get their body back. So you have to basically kill their souls that spawn before they respawn. Uh, there are also chariots. Uh, that attack you, they sound like little cats. Uh, since we are using our special, I do like the Dash Nova. Uh, we get to jump ahead, and what it means by sturdy, when we have that little glowy thing around us for a second, uh, we can't be staggered, so enemies can attack us over and over again if they want to, but... Uh, we're not going to pause because of the attack. Um, that actually paired uh, with Ares Boon. That uh, you see that little knife that goes over an enemy's head when uh, Ares Boon uh, takes place. Anytime I do that AOE, uh, basically, yeah, uh, three seconds, and that's going to go off. So, it's a fairly good way to introduce yourself into each fight. All set. But I would love to find either the guy that gives away death defiances... Just anything that gives me more health right now would be just fucking peachy. <laughs> Yeah, that I can definitely understand. It, it, I, but from what I'm also gathering from this game, it's it's a matter of how good are you in with R and Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it is uh, a roguelike, though. Um, I do feel like this game tries to give you uh, like if you have no good 
uh, skills, it usually tries to give you better skills, as far as I can tell. Oh, so it's not a dickish roguelike. Yeah, it's not like the Binding of Isaac, where, uh, you know, uh, if you have no good abilities, you're just going to die. It wants you to live. But it's not going to, uh, go out of its way to make you live. Well, you know, you gotta root for those underdogs, right? Yeah. Um, worth mentioning, there actually is a setting for, if you want it, god mode. Um, you start out by taking 20% less damage, and every time you die afterwards, you gain an extra percentage. Um, so you can get up to, like, ridiculously high, uh, passive, like, less damage taken to, uh, the point that you're taking, like, a quarter damage or something along those lines, I think. So uh, that's the ex exact opposite of playing a hardcore hero in Diablo 3? Yeah. Like, each time you go, you get, uh, you get less and less damage you take. Uh, I'll take an Eye of Lamia, because I really need health in any shape or form. Oh, actually, speak of the devil. Jump Anytime you activate your... these tests, uh, these uh, chests, you uh, summon a bunch of enemies you didn't have to fight. Uh, however, you will also get a reward based upon how quickly you kill them. And considering I literally just asked for health and this chest gives out health, well, it is entirely worth doing. Who's going to clean all this up? Good enough. And this room will move us up to 125 base health, which, uh, yeah, is good. <laughs> You might be surprised. Not dying is, uh, good. Even though, you will always die in this game. Because you are Zagreus, and that is what Zagreus does. He dies a lot. If we find the guy I would like to find, we might make it the inbox but that is that is up to RNG whether I find what I need Let's go talk to Sharon and see what we can get out of him. Um, Charon, mate. I don't suppose you've given any further thought to my proposal to just, you know, ferry me up to the surface? <laughs> Seeing as it's not out of your way. I'll take that as a no. Thank you, mate. Look, Zag, you should know by now that when it comes to feasting, it's yours truly here who puts on the best performance. But I do have Lady Aphrodite's help. Sometimes you get a duo effect, and I was kind of hoping for this, actually. Even more beautiful than ever, Dionysus, dear. And from such beauty, why long-lasting love is born. And also shorter-lasting love much of the time. Alright, so a duo combines the effects of two different gods. This one, anytime I have a hangover, uh, or anytime I apply hangover, or apply weak, I can apply more stacks of hangover. So, I can apply eight poison now, I believe, rather than five. Awesome. Rock those dots. Yeah. Considering we have two dots <laughs> that we can apply, um, that's helpful. <sighs> as much as I need more health, I'm going to go the stupid route. The Bull of Minos. You have met the champion, the king. Let us see if you are fit to face him once again. You mean face Bull of Minos? Mm -hmm. Oh no! Life. 
isn't particularly fair, short one. If we make it to the end, which I think we will, we'll see him again at the end of this stage. Have your fair fight. We're actually relatively, relatively well equipped for him, though, since we can just dodge him most of the time and let our dots take care of him. Mostly you just want to be out of the way of where he's going to charge. And that mostly goes to uh, doing a whole lot of dodging, really. Uh, he does go invisible, uh, invincible between uh, phases. In phase two, uh, he can do a charge attack if he so desires it, which he is doing now. You kind of want to get him to run into one of those pedestals that are inactivated. If it's activated, he won't do anything. Um, yeah, and you're not here to kill him because you're fighting him again later. Until such time. But he will be slightly reduced health when we go to the second fight. That is nice, actually. Uh, who did you... Oh, that must be uh, a duo with Poseidon. Curse of Nausea. Okay. I am all for faster poison. Oh, one thing I haven't mentioned, I think. Uh, so, one of Zagreus's best moves is uh, the dash attack. When you dash and attack at the same time, it combines those two abilities. Now, we don't have anything assigned to our dash as of yet, <coughs> but each time we dash, we deal additional damage, and we do have the weapon boon that makes our dash attack slightly better in the first place. So, we're dealing more damage each time we dash attack, and... Once we get a boon to assign to it, uh, that will also do something for us. What it is will depend upon whatever boon we get to assign to our dash. These guys explode, so I'm trying to kill them, like, as far away from me as possible. They are not fun to face when... You have a short range weapon. There is actually um, a thing you can buy each run that would make them not appear. Uh, it's in those little wells where you can do shopping and whatnot. Um, we haven't seen it on this run, but like, I'm not even sure I actually have bought it to begin with. Since we do at least have and also Poseidon helping us out. I'd rather wait to use Poseidon's full charge. And maybe that's dumb, but seeing as we're basically done with this room at this point. But I wanted to try. Aries or shopping? I think we want to go shop. Give me more health. Use this. What's Daddy Poseidon got for me? Dealing damage to bosses, yes. Alright, we are going into the stage 3 full boss. We'll see Minotaur again. These two. So and the asshole. 
You seek to break through to the surface of the world. But you shall not achieve your goal whilst I yet live and breathe, or the equivalent of it here in the splendors of Elysium. And you leave me with little choice but to make you shut up already, and your bullheaded manservant there. That Minotaur whom you address is my dear friend, you preconceiving stain upon oh, the yeah. earth. Asterius and I are brothers here in death as we were enemies in life. Not that you could ever understand fraternal bonds as strong as ours. The only positive thing you say about Theseus as a person is that he uh, basically saved uh, the Minotaur from a life or afterlife of basically being a monster, which I guess is a good thing. Would you please stop? Thank you. But you do have to fight both of them at the same time. The best thing to do is to kill the Minotaur first and try to use uh, the columns as a block between you and Theseus since his uh, ranged attack deals a shitload of damage. Uh, Theseus is a little harder to hit than most things since his attack, he has a shield. Uh, he also, uh, once he is weakened enough, will be begin beseeching the gods for power. And they will help him because he is chosen. And we lost. That's... <laughs> Latted. Yeah, we did not make the final area, but we might on the next I run. Swear that Theseus. We definitely picked up a lot of stuff that will help on our way. So this is back home. Oh, uh, hey there, Dusa. How's your endless toil treating you? Ah, uh, Hypnos is talking to Dusa, the adorable floating uh, gorgon Mr. head. Hypnos, do you maybe think that you could, you know, uh, keep an eye on the procession line before Lord Hades? Like you were supposed to. Oh, um, she's our maid. No I can definitely do that. I'll just add it to the list. Um, good. Then, glad we had the chance to chat. Now, maybe get some sleep or something. You look pretty beat. Get on it, Hypnos. Yeah, Dusa is one of my favorite characters in this game. Um, especially as you get to know her better. It is the underworld itself. It has been fashioned to prevent escape. You must have seen by now how all the chambers seem to rearrange themselves. Uh, Achilles is the one the that trained itself. you in battle. My enemy. I'll do my best anticipating its surprises, sir. He's also the guard of the House of Hades. Oh, for me? I can't accept something like this, lad. You know that. Come on, Achilles. Live a little. Such as you're able. I won't tell if you won't tell. Oh. Um, basically, we just gave him some alcohol, so. <laughs> the smaller version, there's two different versions you can get. What did I tell you, boy? Ever wasteful of your time and mine. How fares my underworld, hmm? This is Dad. I don't know how you can stand it. Well, at least some things are running smoothly still. Anytime I see a father Next figure in a game again, call someone boy, all I can think of is God of War. <laughs> he is kind of a shit to Zagreus. Nyx must be someplace else. Uh, our mother, Nyx, is a uh, super hottie and sadly is not here right now. This is the kitchen. It doesn't do much yet. Anything good? Uh, we can trade stuff for stuff. Uh, before we do that, What's that anything we can actually things? buy that I want. Not yet. Mostly I want to complete these work orders. 
so we can get all of the nice stuff. Uh, they definitely help out our runs. Um, so we'll be saving up our gems to do these things. As well, shadow that we collect Makes can be used to power us up slightly. Um, so let's see. Deal damage, attack, and special to foes with stuff in them, or do I don't have enough to unlock the next gear? So that'll have to do for now. So we need more keys in order to unlock. I'm feeling good. Let me give you a piece. We have no idea. I actually still have no idea like who actually sent Skelly, but he's right our training dummy. Aww, Papa. he's so cute. He's cool. He's a good character. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock the shield. This is my least favorite weapon. Uh, you can do a bull rush, which also guards your front. Uh, you can throw it, or just hit things with it. Skelly kind of looks like uh, pa Papyrus from Undertale. A little bit. Just... You know, after a couple of centuries of really bad days. Ye. Also, his voice acting is phenomenal. One more time. The rivers flowing through this realm divide its region suitably enough. I still and don't expect us to actually to win unless them. we get really lucky, but maybe we'll beat uh, Just full of Minos then. and, you know, the jackass. Welcome back, Coop. Welcome back, Coop. None can endure an everlasting winter's chill, young Zagreus. Not even your father's lifeless servants there beneath the earth. Grandma. She sucks. Yeah, actually, a ranged chill is good. Uh, chill basically slows down enemies. And there's other effects that you can potentially earn. That is a really short nap. really love to get uh, enough keys to open up the next area of the mirror, so it's funny, I'm so used to avoiding keys because you do not need many to get everything you need in the game, and from then on, keys are entirely useless other than for, like, cosmetic reasons, so I'm used to avoiding them, but... We need them. We still have not unlocked so very, very much. Hey, us. Interesting. We don't have a lot of health to fuck around with. As nice as chaos can be, I'd rather get more help. Because getting as far as we are with as little health as we're going to have, we need every last bit we can get. Never gonna turn my back down at more alcohol to give out to our friends in the underworld. If you play with the shield correctly, it can be one of the most overpowered things in the game, 
I do not play with the shield Something correctly. Like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, Poseidon with the shield isn't bad. Besides, I can't really spend any money, so... be utilizing Bull Rush better, but... I like the fact that the first mini-boss of the game is literally just you stuff you'd normally fight in Stage 2. You received an ice-cold blessing courtesy of Elder Goddess Demeter, correct? Now, personally, I think That's in liquid war, but who am I to judge? <laughs> okay. These are all pretty good, actually. But I think I'm going to go with his dash. Uh, it's a knockback as well as it deals damage. So, pretty useful with the shield, really. I'd say it's more useful if you're going with an actual ranged weapon rather than the Jack of All Trades Master of None weapon, but you know, what can you do? Also, like with the uh, item we currently have equipped. Yeah, I'd rather not give up the not yet. Issue here. Yeah, definitely need help. Why you? Gimme, 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 give me, give me, give me. I am so glad I got Sisyphus' keepsake already, because early on it is badass. We do need more keys. So let's go this way. Not that I had a choice, mind you. I hate these big blocks, because uh, they don't stagger quite as easily as every other enemy in here. So they're more likely to uh, hit you if you're using a melee weapon like, like we are. Wretches, uh -oh. take him now. Um, whenever Hades appears, it's basically a survival room. You don't have to kill anything. I usually try to because everything that dies will drop money. And, uh, greed is good. If you are severely underpowered, though, it is a good idea when these rooms pop up to just avoid them as much as possible and just, you know, hide in the corners. As it were. Play a nice rousing game of Monkey in the Middle. <laughs> Damnable fools. Seems like a good idea. Uh, each time you level up a um, a ability you have, it has diminishing returns. So often it can be better to just uh, try to spread out the love with your upgrades, unless you have an upgrade that is really be super beneficial to you. Sometimes you have one particular upgrade that is doing 90% of the work, and in those cases, that is the upgrade you want. Oh, I'm sad that I already have a dash. Um, you know, forgetting her name, but goddess of protection lady. Um, her dash is goddamn amazing. You're, in, you're invincible every time you dash. It's so good. Athena. I'm indebted to you, goddess, for all that you and your side of the family have done for me. She is actually the one that first Nyx got in contact to help you out with your mission. 
the Athena. Thank you. The first time you give any um, NPC liquor, <laughs> uh, they will give you their keepsake. And there on, you're just getting a better bond. And sometimes when you max out their bond, they may also give out something, but that's a long way down. All right. None of these are great. I want to go with Athena's aid, but if I get the chance to sell it, I might. You might think like a summon. Oh, fuck off. Just dangling a weapon upgrade in front of me, but no, I'm 22 points short. Tyron had something to say. Now let's have a look at your supplier, shall we? Um, yeah. What you got for me, Aries? There is a reliable deliverer of death, it seems. Um, yeah, urge to kill. Just makes everything better. Can't complain there. Oh, um, hi there. <laughs> All right, different fury. <laughs> waiting for this there are three different furies you and you may get a different fury every time i don't believe we've had the pleasure waiting for what exactly so sick of you know doing my regular job uninterrupted not having to clean up meg's messes i get the feeling we're meg is just long. kind of a standard boss but both of her sisters are really interesting anyway i always wanted to kill a god you'll have to do so, Electo has a rage mechanic. You don't want to let her build up rage. Uh, the more rage she has, um, essentially she will reach a uh, point where she is nothing but rage, but she is a lot harder damage when she is in rage. And, uh, also she hit like a fucking brick truck when she's in rage. Alright, she's gonna be straight up in rage, so threw out my invincibility period real quick there. And win. <laughs> it is a little cheap having this keepsake, but, um, I'm all for being a little cheap. <laughs> It's super helpful. E. Electro failed. I'm gonna keep this keepsake on me for now. Yeah, I'd rather have the forty five oh. The path It ain't much, but finally laid bare. Far above the heat from Flegathon. Is faintly felt already, even as its dangers lie in wait. I always see this little sparkly here and think that it's something it isn't anything, but it's always sparkly. Done. Uh, the one thing I didn't really show off last time, one thing you can do is, uh, wasn't this whole expanse once lush and green? You can actually take a look at what the areas look like before you go to them. So, it is it is fire. Uh, from what I understand, the idea is this used to be a lovely pasture, and uh, then it all got caught on fire, and it is awful now. So... I do not know what you have to do to go here rather than the first level, which doesn't seem so bad. You do encounter way more witches and gorgons in this area, and Skelly Bros. So if anyone knows their lore bit than I do. I wouldn't mind hearing. Knowing more about what's going on is delightful. 
Uh, we need as much shadow as possible, even if we don't get enough keys on this run to unlock the next thing, and we really need that next unlock. Because that's where all of the stuff that will make you more likely to live longer is, and I like living longer. Just getting stunted. I guess the uh, one thing worth mentioning, uh, Zagreus right now still has his base base cast, so we do always have a range ability. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but uh, anything with that little cast thing inside of them will take more damage from any hit. So it's usually worthwhile to lodge it in the enemy. And they do take a little damage on the way in. Let's see... We don't have really enough money to spend, so... Let's go get some. We have three casts at a time. And if all of the casts are lodged into enemies, we cannot cast any more until they drop, and then we can pick them up. You may notice you have not seen me use Bull Rush nearly at all. Uh, I tend not to. And I know that is that is bad play, That because the Bull Rush is overpowered, blah blah blah. I don't like it. I hate it. I hate anything that slows me down. It is, though, extra useful against witches, so it has its place. It's also a good intro lobby into a fight. Ooh, they're all very tempting, but maybe I'm always going to take Hermes first. Oh, good. This has to be the chamber renovation. I want to bring you in on something, boss. The reason that Uncle Poseidon got to you before I did is I let him. He's under the impression <laughs> he's as fry as ever. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Side hustle actually would be really useful later on. Peanut butter apple is a good combo. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Uh, it is a shame that side hustle is useless now, but considering we'll get like 200 extra gold per area, I mean, I'm for it. Most definitely. And peanut butter apple is like the best combination because it gives you all of the satisfaction of having like a caramel apple but it's not like painfully unhealthy for you don't stand in fire even if your feet are literally made of fire you can only stand in fire so long before it hurts However, witches can fly, so they can just stand in the ship, like assholes. I'll take the cast. Appreciate the backup. The act of sorcery often ends in an untimely death and an eternity in Tartarus for careless souls though some are able to perfect the trade and take up permanent residence elsewhere. Actually, I'm sure the witch's circle will reconvene soon enough. Now that I think about it, we can actually just read about Tartarus. The Masters on the Boat, Asphodel. One of the many reasons it's the best for mortals to try to reach reasonably well is that after having lived their short lives, you don't want to stop up with not enough for Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of information on Asphodel Unlocked yet. Um, the book 
is uh, actually uh, Achilles' book. He gave it to us, but we can't actually unlock the knowledge until we see it. So that's that's the uh, basic, you know, reason why information unlocks as far as you know gameplay mechanics go until you know we've been somewhere for a while. Your builds, you really didn't get a whole lot of time with any upgrades you got. God, you're this is a tough call, but I'm going to have to go for the weapon upgrade. Hopefully, we get something good out of it because there was there's two very good options you guy gave me there. Should put some extra punch into this. During your dash, your special is faster. Your bull rush gains a power. Your special deals 50 damage to foes around you when you catch it. I think we'll go with that. This should work. Uh, since I seem to be rushing in more anyway often than not, probably a good idea. Don't you have something to say to me? I'm going to hang on to my left cast here. For now. I think after this floor I'm going to cha change up the keepsake that I'm using, uh, purely because I have to imagine uh, the next thing I get has to be something I actually want to put on my weapon. Uh, I am amazed we have gone this long without a uh, weapon upgrade, but it do happen sometimes like that, that just none of the weapon upgrades look any good. Or the attack upgrades, I should say. Um, we do have weapon upgrades. Do not stay fire, fire bad. Please give me back my axe. I do love the animation for Athena's cast with the little shield that floats towards things. It's kind of cool. Back to the Hydra again. So Kill it easy. with fire. Kill it with fire. We don't have a fire god. You get. Yeah, I don't think there actually is like a god of fire in this game. I mean, Hades, technically. I suppose. Yes. Do I still need these? Nope, those are all good. Enough of this place. Good. All right, let's go a little deeper. I forgot to change out my keepsake. Oh well. Not the end of the world. <laughs> I know you wanted your good, good girl in the game, but they did not add her for some unfathomable reason. I hate you, you fucking little piss bag chariots. There is nothing good I can say about you, you little pieces of shit. Not going too bad so far, though. It's just All right. I need. 
I don't like holding special. During your dash, your special is faster. I usually dash attack rather than dash special, so let's go with Pulverize and Blow. I'm usually jumping in there anyway, so I don't care if it doesn't have knockback. And I definitely need a lot more health. I am so used to being at like 200 health by the time I keep doing it. There are so many upgrades we do not have yet. And it actually doesn't matter that uh, we lost our knockback with our attack since we're going to be dashing in the entire we attack anyway, and our dash is literally a knockback. So we literally lost nothing and hit twice now with every attack. That's not bad. Uh, we've got money. Let's fucking go for it. What you got for me, Charon? Uh, sack of question mark. Hello, young Zagreus. Freeze, mom. Young Sprout. Our strategist Athena, warrior goddess, sprang from Zeus's head. I would expect that no high intellect could come from there. <laughs> She's kind of a bitch. Please do not mind the Lady Demeter's Ooh, it's a duo. sense of humor, Zagreus. She and my father often like to jest with one another, even in the most difficult times. Not the best, but useful. What a team. Let's see. Okay, what I haven't mentioned is if there's a skull on a door, it means that that room is going to be uh, more difficult. If it's a regular room, uh, the enemies will always have uh, a shield that you have to take down first before you get to their health bar. Um, and they usually are a little bit more difficult, and they become even more difficult as they go. But, yeah. If I'm going to take an attack upgrade, it's definitely going to be this. This mini boss sucks ass. You have to uh, kill this flower dead ass. You need to kill it first before you do anything else. Um, everything will keep summoning until it be dead. Uh, and while he the the fucking butterfly orb is alive, it will just keep summoning more spirits over and over until it's dead. A little cruel. Yeah. Um, I know we already have slow on our special, but 55% better attack is pretty nice. And hopefully I remember to trade out keepsakes. Death approaches. Thought you could just get away from me, did you? Thanatos, I figured it was only a matter of time before Father sent you after me to do his dirty work. Zagreus, is that really why you think I'm here? Let's see how many of these exalted champions you can send back to their dooms. Unless you'd rather I would send you back to yours. <laughs> Um, so, Thanatos is our ex-boyfriend. He is mad at us right now. Um, each time you find him, you have to kill enemies faster than he can. It's useful to target enemies with low health. Uh, if you can kill more enemies than he can, uh, you will get a health upgrade. So, it is always worthwhile to give it a go, even though we are definitely doing less damage than him by far. But, I am better at targeting enemies than he is, so... Death is a little slow, there's always going to be a delay on any attack Thanatos has. 
though, it is worthwhile to use that to your advantage, and I barely beat it. so much as telling me goodbye i suppose you knew i'd catch up with you sooner or later is that it no escaping death and all i left when it was necessary then i thought of you and hoped you'd understand i have to do this that's more motivation than i've ever heard from you well if you won't say it i'll say it goodbye Zephyrus. <sighs> Yeah, worth the extra money. So we haven't found one of these rooms yet. Um, we have to take one god's um, boon first. The other god will get angry and will attack us while we're clearing out the room. Um, oh. yeah. Lovely. I think I'd rather Poseidon be around than Ares. So. I admire your lord father very much. For his grim work lets me continue mine. I trust that one day you shall settle your dispute. That is really helpful during boss fights, so I'll take that. You wound me, little Hades, with your callous choice. It's fortunate I'm quite impervious to harm. But I don't think the same is true for you. <laughs> don't be mad, Uncle. Alright, so, what he does is, uh, he summons a little wave that will go through the room while we are fighting that is basically aimed at me, but, uh, I can dodge away from it. So, his is one of the easier ones to deal with. Uh, if it hits, it kind of hurts, but it's not too bad. So, uh, if I have... You take one. Uh, he's one of the better ones for sure. Um, I will never fight Athena. Uh, she is a huge bitch. Oh my god. Um, her ability is she puts shields on enemies, which can bounce back damage to you. So you have to pay attention when their shields are up to not hit yourself. <laughs> it's bad. Because, you know, we can't make it easy. Uh, Rupture is good. It's a dot, so... Uh, having some additional dots is always nice. We need help. <laughs> Let's... Heading straight for that shit. They just fucking win in Like, there is no refrain moment in this, so once you start taking damage, you will just keep taking damage. And they just all ganked up on me at the same time. Usually, like, one or two will do, like, a circle back or something, which was what I was expecting, but they all went me on me at the same time. That hurts. Um, but maybe we'll buy a Death Defiance later. And we definitely still need more help. Yeah, that is also true. Aphrodite is also kind of a pain in the ass. Um, she is not as bad. Um, but especially the fact that, uh, I really hate the fact that when she hits you, uh, you get stuck in place for a bit. And you can really just get ganged up on at that point. 
real quick. God bless that bitch. Since I can just keep dashing into enemies and knocking them back over and over again, it is super helpful because uh, it will knock things away from me and then I can do another dash hit and then knock it away again and do another dash hit. And that's why I don't mind is dash so much with this one. Alright. Yeah, we still have a shit ton of money. Let's go for it. Definitely more health. Might as well take more gems for unlocks. Ah, you found me, little nephew. Strewn among the inventories of that most disturbing river boatman. That means you win my blessing. Uh, thanks, Uncle. Uh, Uncle, you gave me bullshit this time. I don't mind the health, I guess. I was a little bit low on health. I think we'll make it to the next area. Theseus, we're well equipped to deal with the usual one. Though I know better than to disregard your might. Maybe? Maybe, maybe? Yeah, I think with one death defiance we can do this. this foul demon and his underhanded fighting style. A style we shall easily dismantle now. Especially with the doubled up attack. That's going to be real helpful. And freezing uh, Asterius in place at times. Once we, uh get 10 stacks of frozen on it, which we're going to redeem it because all of our attacks do freezing. That is the idea, just keep them cold and frozen. And I did not think that he would hit me around that calm. That was no good as the hit say, I think. It can be kind of difficult to uh, dodge Theseus's attack. Especially when you're not sure where he is. I actually prefer the uh, there's a more difficult version of every boss fight, and I mean every boss fight in the game. Really? Yeah. So, I would rather fight the more difficult version of these two. It's also goddamn hilarious. Uh, Theseus's upgrade is stupid as hell and it's glorious. Um, what does he do? He gets a golden chariot that he rides around and shoots missiles at you and wears, like, this gaudy-ass golden armor. It's great. It is so bro and dumb and does not look good and I love it. Well, I mean, if you're gonna be the upgraded version of yourself, you might as well be fabulous while you're at it. Yeah, he has this really bad mask. That, uh, he wears. Okay, I think we'll just barely eat this out. But, uh, I do not know how well we will survive in the last area. Alright, so put on the bracer so we take less damage. Heal back some health. I can do this. I can do this. Welcome to the last challenge, the river sticks.
duty, huh? So, our puppy is guarding right now. And we have to go find a snack for him to stop guarding. I hear you can pet the dog. You can pet the dog. Remind me when I get back to the house to pet the dog. I'm surprised I haven't done it so far. Thanks, Coop. I appreciate it. It's right. Happy birthday! Yay, I'm old. You're not that old. <laughs> you take damage and flick. That is a lot of damage to deal. Uh, a lot of people really underappreciate how uh, good those uh, boons are, because they... Uh, when you fight Hades, you're going to take a lot of damage. So, uh, dealing damage to him when he, when I take damage is very good. Also, spoilers, Hades is the last boss of the game, but I mean, it's literally the title card. What else did you expect? I will definitely try my best to make it to him, but there is no chance with the layout we have right now we're beating him. Coop says you need to make yourself a three-layer cake today. Uh, I am actually going to be eating Paula's donuts for my birthday because they are amazing. To be a little short of coin. I shouldn't have bought everything because, of course, the first place I went has a death defiance purpose. Anyway, Damn it. I didn't mean to actually buy the one palm that I bought, uh, but after I bought that, I was just kind of like in for a penny and for a pound. <laughs> uh, every trap in this area hurts like hell. Which kind of makes sense. Yeah, considering where you be. And, you know, we're kind of getting towards end game. So. Yeah, so. But, on the opposite side, it do also hurt your enemies, too. Uh, the big thing when the screen is like glowing green. That actually, you're taking poison damage. In the name of <gasps> it's not good. Really, Athena? Usually, Athena um, will give you a choice of an option to get another Death Defiance, and also it helps out. Uh, she did not give that to me. So I'll take Bronze Skin. Ya bitch. I should be able to get back through here. That was literally what I was banking on. Son of a bitch. Alright, we'll go down the Ares path. Hey. No way. We are basically looking for a sack of dead starters to uh, give to our puppy. Uh, these guys are real assholes because their spit is poison. So just watching all of the damage, it was just like, ow. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I imagine if you're not used to the game, it's uh, you know, seeing what I'm actually doing may be difficult because I'm literally just jumping right the fuck in and throwing everything that I got out. <laughs> So maybe the fact that I'm actually hitting specific buttons for specific reasons. Like, mostly I'm trying to uh, dash and work in uh, specials whenever I'm between hits uh, to uh, get that AoE extra going on. And if it's an enemy with a lot of health, I'm going to try to cast to them and I need to find okay poison doesn't isn't as bad as it used to be uh in like some of the OG builds it would take like two or three health per tick now uh it does less oh also I forgot oh, that we restore health when we're at flow 
like so yeah if... and you got bronze skin too doesn't that help mitigate damage yeah seven percent less damage from literally anything I'll take his call. Something I need. Um, I actually do want to take things from here. Should come in useful. Cause uh, if down the, the next uh, path we goes down gives me what I want, passageways. then uh, we're basically done and can go on to big boss man. So I will hope that Demeter gives us something really good. <laughs> I don't have my hopes up. The things that I have wanted to get, I haven't gotten so far. So we have no Death Defiance, no way of getting that back. Uh, unless a uh, chair on Aaron's well is surprisingly good to me. I am not holding my breath. Positively, though, I can always hide from Hades and just recharge my health, so that's helpful. Alright, we went through a boss door, so we will fight a powered-up version of an enemy. Um, but uh, we're good, so he died. That's right really here. the beginning and end of it. But that does mean we have to go down one more path. Arctic Blast is really good, uh, especially with our setup. We are freezing things a lot, so go down this Sata hole. that's going to be good for us. Alright, let's go for more health. I know it's going down another, uh, you know, potentially fighting a boss character, but 90% likely that we'll come across what we need. So, Ooh, one more well. Will it be nice to us and give us another chance? Anything of course not. And also, these boons suck. Cool. Couldn't even let me take the nice boons in Aaron's well boons into the boss fight. Fucking nerds. And this is the after we were saying that this isn't a dickish roguelike. Yeah, it's less dick than a lot of roguelikes, but we've literally struck out at each possible dice roll that could possibly do that. Holy shit, we have to go through all five routes to get out. Fuck me gently with a chainsaw. And we got my least favorite mini boss fight to go with it. On the positive end, that means that the last path will be the last thing we have to do. And maybe there will be another well here on in here. Who knows? We could get real lucky, but again, out my doubts. This will be our first time making it all the way to fight Dad. Cerberus must be starving. Which is awesome. Yay. Um, this is useless. This is a little more useful. Disgusting. Cerberus will love it. Deep within the desecrated layer of the god-defiling satyrs lie the noisome contents of their profane rituals so foul as to be indescribable and yet he described Cerberus it just loves the stuff never gone this far now we'll chat with Cerberus. all right two Take more let's see yes 
And our last upgrade. Urge to kill Ryzen. Cerberus again accepts the sack. Bye for now, boy. <laughs> Mom's for the puppy. He's fine. The most gentle vanquishing possible. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love the first time you see him. It's like, oh, I I'm see how it father. is, boy. Oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just joking. Let's go mm. get food it for you. It grew distinctly colder just as you arrived. So Demeter has been in contact with you then. That witch. Tell me I guess that we knows. have been to the Hades fight before. We just lost. What? I don't. Wait. This everlasting winter, it's her doing, isn't it? Why? Don't mortals die when it's cold? Sounds like a lot of extra work for you. Then you are ignorant. Keep it that way with her. Lest you risk everything you understand. The consequences will be far worse than a foul stretch of weather. But enough talk now. How about you? So, I'm going to be trying to maximize my time away from Dad in order to uh, utilize the fact that I regain health since we're on our last Death Defiance. As well, we do have ranged attacks we can utilize against them. It's going to be real slow, but it's also our best possibility. Even when he's invisible, he does leave footprints. Uh, you do also want to kill the little skulls that he dropped. If they don't die, uh, they will make little AoE effect damage rings. And, uh, yeah, they hurt. Unsurprisingly. Uh, it is certainly... Sorry? Is there anything in this game that doesn't hurt? Uh, all the things at home and all your friends, I guess. Uh, fish don't hurt. Yes, you can fish in this game. Really? Yeah. We just haven't unlocked it on this save yet. Hey, if we're lucky, we get to go meet Mom. You may say, oh, Travis, you haven't taken any damage yet, and he's almost dead. Compared to her, it's a final boss. I do not think we would have beaten this boss, though, if not for the fact that we can regain health. But I do think with the amount of health we have, we should make it. Such contempt for your own father. But we are not finished here yet. Because of course, phase two. Yep. You have your bullshit attack, I have mine. Uh, okay. Just gonna step back for a bit. Just let Dad do his thing for a minute. Shoot your laser, I don't care. I'll just re eating health while you're shooting your laser. Alright, so one little fact. Uh, he will eventually start summoning little green uh, barrels that when they get damaged, uh, lay out a uh, attack on the ground that also freezes you in place. Uh, the interesting thing to know is that they count as traps, so a lot of uh, high-end players will always take 
uh, Athena's blessing to uh, take less damage from traps. Because uh, especially in his hard mode boss fights, uh, he can deal a lot of damage with that bullshit uh, real easily. But it can be mitigated with Athena. I learned that from uh, watching the speedrun on uh, games done quickly. You. We win! I. How. Hmm. That's a good way to end a stream. So you the fuck out of Hades. I told you that I would, Father. And I'm so to... you get to see what he's been protecting you from this whole time. Wait. Wait, just... If you... If you find her... If you somehow find her... Tell her something for me. Tell her... Tell her Cerberus is doing very well. What? Wait, I don't think I owe you any favors here. Now answer me one question and I'll give it some thought. How's that? I know your question, boy. But ask it anyway. Persephone. My mother. Why did she leave? I... Blood and darkness. There is no escape. Victory! It was a fairly solidly built run there, so, uh... Yeah, I didn't think we'd actually win with that build, but... I'm happy to be proven wrong. I made it. Beyond the frozen overlook, await the first glimpse of the sun to your left, and onward through the cold. Sure hope this works, Nyx. You can't dash in this area, you cannot run, you're just walking very slowly through the cold. The surface, windswept, racked by freezing cold, nonetheless instills within the prince a sense of awe and the sublime. For it is unlike anything that he has seen. It's beautiful. Yeah, keep in mind he has never seen outside before. So, like, the fact that wind moves... <laughs> ...and it be cold is new information to Zag. Wow, that thing. That's the sun. Beautiful view of the sea. Aw, baby's first sunrise. Yeah. It's so, like, it's interesting to me that, you know, his feet are made of fire to walk on snow. This... You get those little it's... steamy footprints left over. Oh yay, we hey, can run now. Why you be wandering all the way out here? You're trespassing on private property, you know. They wanted to Speak build up. up the feeling. Um, you must be Persephone. My name is Zagreus, and I think I might be your son. Awkward. What? How dare! Get out of here! Get out, or I shall make you! Out with you! No, so then you are her. I, I don't care if you hate me, but I'm not leaving until I get some answers. I never even knew you existed. Why did you leave me? You died. You... You died. Those burning feet, they... sputtered out when you were born. But... Now Aww. you're standing here before me. How? I died? I died? What, you mean permanently died? But I'm alive. Oh, 
gods. And you never <laughs> even knew I existed either. A liar. Sagrius, he even kept your name. You live. How can this be? You live. You live. Oh, the cruel fates. My son. Mother. Aww. I like Mama. She's awesome. Persephone is awesome, and you get to learn a lot more about her as you go on. But there's something he wanted me to tell you in the end. He said to tell you Cerberus is doing very well. Ah, uh, he told you that, did he? That's good. That's good. Though, tell me something, Zagreus. How is it that you found me? To have journeyed all this way, I scarce believe it. Zagreus? Uh, oh, it's... guess I'm just a little tired, that's all. Not accustomed to the weather, as I think you call it. <laughs> no. No, that isn't it. It's that... You cannot stay here. You can't stay here. Really, you're... <laughs> kicking me out? Why? The fates are cruel, Zagreus. You're bound to that place. The same as your father. So they would have us say goodbye. For now. My heart soars knowing you live. But then it breaks that our time together was so brief. No. I can... Come back. I can come back. Now that I found you, he... Maybe he'll just let me come back. You tell him I demand it. And I demand he also tell me how come he... Or for that matter, Nyx... Never sent notice that you lived. Olympus is all rife with schemers. But I was so naive to think that they were different. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. I feel awful. I... I have to go. Poor spiky-haired boy. The stick shall take you then. Oh, Zagreus. Farewell, my son. Won't you come back to me? When you are able, please, come back. I shall be waiting here, however long it takes. However long it takes. So Hades is bound to Hades. <sighs> Can't hold. And um, you have the same curse upon you that he has. Uh, that there is no escape. I have to get back there. That kind of makes sense. And I mean, granted, that was also the nicest, kindest way I've ever seen somebody tell someone else to go to hell. <laughs> I found her, sir. My mother, she's alive. And Pet the puppy. I will. I, I will. That's part of my mom. plan while I'm here. I have to get back to her. You told me to remind you. You, made mm -hmm. it all the way. Mm -hmm. you must have. Thank you for reminding me. Father. That's amazing, lad. But wait, what was she like? What happened to you there? She was. I've got to talk to great. everyone, and I have an like order that I always end up talking to everyone. Bit, I guess. Though being on the surface, it just seemed to suck the life right out of me. Even without the wretches of the underworld trying to do me in. But then you had a little time at least. Sounds like you have unfinished business with her there. You got to her this once. Surely you're able to again, isn't that right? It is. I have to speak with her. How goes it, Shades? Puppy is not here. Sorry. I know what to do, you though. I will me. pet the puppy. Have you any idea what time it is? No. Wait, what? I vanquished you in single combat and finally found Mother, and that's all you have to say to me. <laughs> Nonsense. Don't you think I would recall such an event? You can, be you can pet a danger you noodle. <laughs> she wants answers. I don't think I there's a. Snake. She demands I think you he's just talking around. Let me go to her again. Am I wrong? Silence. This discussion is over. I hardly think this is the time or place to indulge your overwrought imagination. I know where we can continue this discussion then. Ah, uh, yeah, he's talking about Dusa. Oh, um, as much as I do want to have money 
in thing. I think first we should go with Let's the ability to restore health in Elysium. What is it you think that shall achieve? Zagreus, please tell me that the rumors are untrue. You really vanquished him. Have you come? How tall is Megara? Is she if nine foot six? I bet she comes. is. Come on, Meg. Father had it coming for some time. What's your concern besides? I need to go safe? look this up. He's not going to take this I down. think she's eight He'll foot tall. Some way to take it if I remember. On all of us. You watch yourself, or all of us will pay. I will not let that happen. Child. This is Madame Nix. She is a uh, big titty milf. Although you're substantially more merciful, I know it is a bitter victory at best. Though, tell me, what transpired subsequently that you have returned? Did you locate your birth mother? She also raised us. I did. I. She was there. She was where you said she'd be, and more than I imagined. I adore Meg. I had so I am not even her. going to lie. I can't. So oh, my child. I say this seldomly, but I did not know, or I did not wish to believe, that the service would have such an effect on you. But it seems you share your father's fate, after all. My father's fate? But he was smuggled. I absolutely adore her hair, too. It's all all. cool that, Though like, you see his face in it. From this realm, the worse we get. Because he cast his lot, inheriting the underworld. So I now presume... You are bound to this realm by powers greater even than mine. Tell me something. If you knew that you could only see Persephone for but a moment's time, would you still make the journey to her there? Yes. Yes, I would. I had so many questions left for her. Then go and ask them, child. Steady your resolve and find her there again. And use well what brief time you have with one another whilst you can. As mortals do. As mortals do. Best girl. I uh, hope you're having a nice stay. Even though you don't want to live here anymore, your highness. <laughs> and there she goes again. Alright, uh, we'll power up and then... I can get stronger. I do not have enough keys, sadly, to do anything there. Um, don't have enough keys to unlock the claw, so I am just going to save and quit. Data is synced. And load up my main save. So, a lot of shit is unlocked in this, and I had been trying for uh, 32 heat runs. I won't explain what that is, but uh, it is big. Uh, this is everything repaired. Uh, this is actually locked, because I haven't played the game since, uh, you know, I beat it, so that's a thing. So, yeah, there's a whole lot of shit for me to unlock still. Okay, I will say hi to Dusa. We can't say hi to Dusa. I've already said hi to Dusa. But we can. Pet Cerberus. Back up, Abby. Oh my god, he's so cute. You actually can't get uh, full uh, renown with him unless you pet him. I want to say it's 10 times, maybe 20. I think it was 10. Yeah, so. Um, but he's a good boy. And? Let's see. Full renown. Wow. Is there anything... Cool, I can buy up. Uh... 
I have so much fucking Twenty times. To see. Twenty times. You must okay. be pet twenty times. At least. And pets given before the final favor lock was added to the game are not counted, so unfortunate. So fortunately, you must pet him another 20 times. <laughs> yeah, and also on this save, I have to, like, kill uh, Hades another 10 times and all sorts of other shit. But I, I have the Switch save. <laughs> but uh, now that everything's synced up, uh, I could actually pull this back from that so that's all cool yeah 60 percent of players never pet the puppy which is awful that's terrible he's such a good boy he is but anyway it's been a lovely night thank you uh coop and uh Marilyn for the birthday wishes and everything and we'll be back again on monday Take care, everyone. Good night. Bye.